Please welcome Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom! Tom! Good to see you. Good to see you again. Oh, you've got a nice beard. I haven't seen your beard before. Yeah, I'm working on that daytime soap look. It's very, it's yeah. very, you look like sort of a kind of sexy brain surgeon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is that, is that what you want? Stop everything! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. Stop everything! Look. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I was just thinking my yeah. two favorite opening lines from books. Oh, right, right. Which what you got there? Are, uh, through the fence, between the curling flower spaces, I could see them hitting, which is Sound of the Fury. Oh, right, okay. And. I didn't know that one. Dear Penthouse, I never thought this would happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that one. I believe that one is by Anonymous. That is by Anonymous. That's or Anonymous in pizza, Pennsylvania. An yeah. Anonymous pizza delivery boy, <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> Listen, you're doing a movie of Reno 911, is that right? Yes. You're going to start filming it soon? We're doing a, a film of Reno 911, uh, which is called Reno 911, Miami. <laughs> so, <laughs> and technically, it's actually, it's <laughs> Reno 911, colon, exclamation point, uh, exclamation point, colon, Miami. You don't have to be all literary just because Daryl Hannah was here. I know, you know I'm you're trying, just I'm showing playing off. You're showing off. I know. My car runs on McNuggets. Really? <laughs> are you are you big into the ecology or do you do all that? Do you I'm, I'm, Are you off the grid? I'm I'm on the grid. You're I'm on? big I'm big into the ecology. I just don't do it. Right, right. <laughs> you know? What do you run your car doesn't oh, run I, on? I, no. I, no, no. I I I'll give lip service to all that stuff. Sure. Right, yeah, yeah. I was gonna buy a hybrid. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it. Mm -hmm. You drive, you drive like super. I drive, I drive your giant gas guzzlers McLaren? all the time. Something like that. You yeah, I'm like a McLaren. McLaren. Yeah. I have a McLaren. It's what, a jet I, engine or something. It's like a that. jet engine. No, yeah. I drive. I actually don't drive at all. <laughs> oh, I don't drive at all. You've, I, got, a, you've I, got a lad. I've got a, that. I've got a lackey who drives for me. <laughs> oh, nice. A British guy runs along beside oh, the car. Nice, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna get a, a hybrid, but then I feel like, well, why, why is that my job? Why is it my job to make everything nice and make the planet nicer? And... Yes, okay, let's run with that. Why is it your job? Why well, it right? isn't? Oh, it isn't your no, job. So what do you drive? You drive uh, a big that's... SUV then? No, I got a Chrysler. Uh, well, yeah. it's a fine product. I got it. It's the a advertising CBS. If anybody's interested. Ninety-nine low miles. Ninety-nine. It's yeah. a ninety-nine. I drive a ninety-nine. You should yeah. have. You're a big Hollywood star. I know. No, you can think. have a fancy car. Yeah, you. The think. Prius is very popular. Now. I know, and I, I went. And I've, I've thought about it, but then I feel like, why? Why make the oil last longer? Good point. <laughs> why? You, yeah, because why? if if you if we run out, then everyone will be no, off the grid. Yeah, they were all Daryl Hannah. <laughs> I've met Daryl Hannah, sir, and you are no Daryl Hannah. No, but they were all yeah. It'd be great. Yeah. Let's use it up as fast as let's use it up by next week. Let's all vow to use it all up as fast as we can. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, actually. Well, Just burn yeah. it all out and then we can get on with we'll it. We'll use yeah, what they make hydrogen and you yeah. can use grease. Uh, grease like and yeah. McNuggets. Yeah, McNuggets. Right. Just shoving McNuggets in. All right, well, let's go down to Miami. Uh, you're shooting Reno 911 in Miami. Reno 911. The whole Miami. cast of the Reno 911. The entire cast, all of your favorites hey, from the you show. Hey, you play the gay cop. I do. With the shorty shorts. I do. You've got to be careful in Miami walking around like that, girlfriend. It, you know, <laughs> it's so funny because we're doing, you know, it's like a fish out of water. We come from Reno and we end up in Miami, but I'm really a fish in water, well, I guess. Because we went yeah. down to Miami and those, my shorts are pretty much the norm. Yeah. yeah. It's, well, except it's, for the yeah. old people down in Florida who wear really big shorts. Oh, you'd be surprised. There's some banana hammocks down there oh. on the older. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I actually, you ever, have you ever been down to Florida? I was there last week, yeah. Really? Sure. What, Miami? Yeah. Have you ever go to Delray Beach? I love Delray no. Beach. No, nice. Delray Beach is nice. It's about an hour and a half north of, uh, maybe just an hour north of Miami. Sure. Very nice. They, sure. they have no helmet law in, uh, for motorcycles in Florida, you know. Which we should all celebrate? What, I don't know. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, I... You're I, allowed I, to... I, I, hey. just, I think it's interesting. Right. So they yeah. have great, a great organ donor program. That's right exactly what they have. Exactly what they have. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! 
They, <laughs> they do hey, have. They don't, hey, you don't need any seat belts down there. What are you, what's that well, I, yeah. I'm just saying they don't have Are a you show. one of those guys who likes to, you're like... You, you I know. wear a helmet inside my SUV. I'm a safety, right. I'm a really. safety freak. Full really. face. Really? Not really. No. No, no. But I do wear a helmet on my motorcycle, even if there's no helmet law. Really? Well, I've had an accident. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's so, the... so I had, you see, guys who, you can tell two guys who on motorcycles, guys who've had their accident right. and guys who haven't had their accident. Yeah. Guys who've had their accident are like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, checking yeah. things, All moving over, yeah. it sedately. You know, oh. Guys who haven't, man, yeah, this is so great. Yeah, yeah. Gary, Gary, Gary Busey, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's uh, very yeah. dangerous. Turn them into that I get guy. freaked out yeah. when I see it. Yeah. Look out for that. For Gary Busey? In Florida. Yeah, Gary Busey. Yeah. Look out for Gary Busey. Oh, I'm always Florida. watching out for Gary Busey. Yeah. <laughs> good. That's a good general policy. Does, yeah. does he? Do, have you? Do you bump into him a lot? Does I met, he... Yeah, I met. Uh, I met uh, Gary recently, not long ago. We were at a Comedy Central event. Did he like your beard? Uh, this was pre-beard. Oh. But he came up and he said something like, um, "Hey, there's a raccoon up to the thing, and we're gonna all, we're all writing haikus." <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Or something, and I you said. You know, that's uh, what he said to me when I said, said yeah. And I said, uh, "Wonderful!" Is and I said, "You know what? The good thing there's helmet laws now." Yeah, you right. Know. Exactly. Well, listen. Good luck with Reno 91. Come much. back when it's finished and tell us all about we it. We certainly will. All right, Tom Lennon, everybody. We'll be right back. God bless you. Please welcome my friend Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. Is this weird? I kind of thought you were going to pick me up and swing me around like the end of a sort of, like an officer and the gentleman type movie. Yep, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it. I guess I was projecting that on you. A little bit. Yeah. I think, you know, wait, to talk to me first, then yes. I may pick you up and spin you around. Okay, if this goes well, let's wrap this up with an officer and the gentleman swirl. It's going to have to go pretty well okay. for that. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's the end of a long week's Friday night. Friday night. A lot of the... Friday night, a couple of fellas. Yeah, yeah. Swirling each other around. Yay! <laughs> Come on. Hey, the, um, the Reno 911, with the, I hardly recognize you with pants Usually on. Yeah. When, <laughs> Usually when I'm on the show, yeah. I'm either uh, playing a CBS executive pretending to yell at you. Yes. Or I'm standing on that side of the stage completely nude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretending that you're in Reno. Pretending that I'm in Reno. Yeah. Yeah. I've so done that so often in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's nice to be here almost as a normal person. And, right? and, and it, was, it was nice to see you in the Zac Efron movie. He's, he seems to be dreamy. So dreamy. Is he dreamy? <laughs> he is so dreamy. Did you, has he got oh, he's alabaster so skin and dreaminess all around him? He's so dreamy. Let's face it, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a married man. Me too. You know. But y even so, he defies, he's like, he's like, he's like a physics problem, he's so dreamy. Wow. He, it is. That's, that's pretty dreamy. No, it's confusing yeah, yeah, and like, weird. Oh, what the, how does this work? Once I'm... in a while you think, is he going to lift me off my feet? Like all of a sudden a gentleman swirly swirly around. Around. Uh, No, he's dreamy, dream? but he doesn't look like he could lift you off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look like he could lift a soda. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, oh, well, he's got a big shirt off scene in the movie, so... Has he really? Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, he, yeah. has he got the, the abs and Yeah, the... oh, it's chiseled. And it's not that, that Photoshop, that 300 airbrush stuff. No, he's in real that's, good that's shape. That's what I've got. Yeah. I you just, you I, do the airbrush I, every day? I, I, I paint the airbrush <laughs> on my stomach. <laughs> Even though there's Even nothing... No going to see you know, it. It's just got you... <laughs> what I do is I get the stencil and then... Yeah. Shh. Oh, you do it yourself? Yeah. yeah. No, oh, that's right. Shh. Just Straight on. I walk out the door super confident. <laughs> So it's just to impress the neighbors and stuff. Not yeah. even them. It's no, just, just they, so no one can it. see it except yeah. me. But I know under here is a fake six pack. She's chiseled ass. No, that's true. You, you're very physically fit. I saw you in that movie, uh, I Love You, Man. Oh, sure. Yeah, you were, uh, you sure. were, you were physically uh, well, That was my big make-out scene with Paul Rudd. Yeah. yeah. That, was a, that was a big hit in uh, Danish land. <laughs> Hello, people from Denmark's. Yeah. <laughs> Been over there to, to the, the Denmark area? No, it's nighttime. It's nighttime uh, all day, right? No, no, not Denmark. No no, 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 no. That's not true. No, no, no. You're thinking more of the more northern. Sure. Yeah, the Sweden's, your Where Finland's. Denmark? No, Denmark's that... about, it's about. It's about the same place as the Bahamas. Denmark is. <laughs> 
Are these the people who are making us wonderful furniture? Thank you for the furniture. Oh, yes, yes. Thank, thank you. you very Danish. much. Danish pine. You, you could do a little better with the instructions. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Hey, uh, hey, ah! hey, Tom, uh, got a new cup. You see it? Uh, yes, I do. How do you not see the cup? Check out this baby, yeah? Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Help you're... yourself to your own cup there. Well, no, that's... Now you're only doing that so you'll show how pathetic and wimpy this cup is. Oh, no, no, that's, that's a perfectly decent cup. No, it's not. Oh, no, no, look, no. That. look at that. Look at that. Cup, <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks. If this is a video game, I'm, I'm losing. Yeah, well, only one can have the snake cup. Um, I understand you got that... <laughs> <laughs> um... Maybe we'll sit night at the Museum 3 at the Rattlesnake Museum. Hey, that, I, thanks for putting idea. me in the night at the Museum 2, you bastard. I wanted to be in it. Do you Who remember would, that? No, you I forget. know you did. No, no, you asked very yeah. specifically. Yeah, can Who I be would, in it? And you said? And I said, no. I, no, I think I was absolutely was blowing smoke and said, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who would you have played, though? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet. Someone from... <laughs> Someone from... From Cumbernauld. I'll play someone from Cumbernauld, the Cumbern second worst town in the United Kingdom. What's number one? Uh, I think it's the city of Hull in England. Hull? Yeah, Hull. Hull. Yeah, it's, oh, I, mean, no it, it's, uh, I mean, it's a pretty grisly place, Hull, but it's... <laughs> Cumbernauld's got a beat. I don't know why. I, the judges must have been You've got a beach yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah. It, well, they're, they're, they, uh, Hull is a fishing port where the people come in and out depressed. <laughs> Like the people from Denmark. Oh, isn't depression oh, big no, in... Oh, no, 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 not Denmark. Denmark's full of people who are upbeat. Really? Yeah. Oh, they, they, they do jazz hands. They tippy-tap on the way to school. So it's sort of a Bob Fosse. That's like it's Narnia a, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Narnia. A lot of people have uh, half fur instead half of pants. Half minotaur yeah, half. legs, yeah. And the pan flutes and such. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of that. Do, this do, and this do, one. Do. Yeah. That one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good people. Good yeah, times. Yeah, they are. Good times. Good times, old Denmark. It's, yeah. They don't have much in the way. Do you want a uh, drink out of this cup? Uh, yeah, well, what's in it? <laughs> it's snake juice. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a wonderful cup. Pretty good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. This is my cup are as revenge for not being in Night in the Museum, <laughs> too. Are you on the board of the Rattlesnake Museum, or are you just a big wheel? No, or they... I just, I've, just, I've been twice, and I enjoyed it both times. I mean, well, two I can times. Only, yeah, I've been twice. Yeah. What did you learn the second time that you didn't learn the first time well, at the Rattlesnake Museum? Well, the first time, the first time I went, they were having renovations. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went. I, I once went. I once went to the. Have you been to the Liberace Museum? Are you have? It's so great. Oh, it's, it's great. so great. Yes. The one it's, in Las Vegas. Yes, in a little strip mall. It's oh, wonderful. It's, they have his hot pants. Oh, and, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I went, and there's this huge cape that's hanging up, and it's bedazzled and covered in rhinestones and glitter, and it looks like it weighs about 80 pounds. And underneath, there's a little card that says, this artifact is currently being researched by the staff of the Liberace Museum. <laughs> like, as if it was the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> there's a cape with rhinestones yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you can't let that kind of thing go unresearched. Of course. <laughs> You gotta get a team on Hey, that. we're out of time, Tom. Now, uh, will you come back again soon? Anytime, all the time. All right, Love then. The show, and you know. can I be in Night of the Museum 3? Done and uh, done. All right, thank you. <laughs> come on, everybody. We'll be right back. This summer, get ready for Jersey Shore, the movie, starring Mila Kunis as Snooky. Mm. Oh. Um. Not so good, pickle. Uh-huh. Tom Lennon as The Situation. You see abs like this, this here? That's what they call the situation. And then I got this weird-looking mole that's growing on my six-pack, and that's another less sexy situation. But it's all good, because it's got a couple hairs that's growing on a mole, and so I started to gel them up real sexy. Nick Lachey as Ronnie. I got one rule. Never fall in love with the Jersey Shore. Unless it's with something you really want to rock. Like an Italian girl. Or a Camaro. See Italian stereotypes taken to the next level. Paisa! Prosciutto! Oopa! Stavo cool! Hey, it's me, Mario from Super Mario's video game. What's so coming to go? Guess what? <laughs> you! No, don't <laughs> me, you. How about that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, is she there? Like Gonorrhea and Bon Jovi, love conquers all at the Jersey Shore. I've been up and down the whole of both. 
Bug. Where do I find the mushroom princess? Mushroom princess? Isn't that what they call girls who like a sausage in the cow zone? Euphemism. Mm. Find out how kinky things get after hours. I brought a guy back from Karma last night. He made me a mushroom princess. Snooky was screaming, uh, uh, uh. I got so excited I had to put the ham on my I'm glad somebody is getting some sides to the situation. Ah, uh, don't make me laugh. The situation, he never get the ladies. He's like my brother Luigi, except the motor game. Seriously, you think because I spend all day in the gym and I wear a thong in the tanning booth and I dance at a male strip club, that makes me gay? Uh, yeah, I think it does. Watch one man search for love. Last night, I asked Snooky out on a date. I think as long as I don't punch her in the face, maybe I get some. Yeah, Mario is kind of hot. If you put a little gel in his hair, then I might do him. I'ma put it on the gel. I put it on my mustache. Mario, I really like this place. Jersey Shore, the movie. Hello, what's the cover I go? Hey, you. My next guest is a very funny man. He's a good friend of the show. He's handsome. He works out. He's been doing a lot of arm work recently, and I think he's looking better than usual. Please welcome. <laughs> Please welcome. Sex on a stick. Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. Hello. Tommy. Hey, Tom. At, at Craigie Fern. Hey, Tom, how is, are you? It is great to see you, buddy. I'm fantastic. Did you just call me my Twitter handle? I did. There? I called you at Craigie Ferg. At Craigie Ferg, that's my name at, on the Twitter. Let's just start using those instead of proper names. Well, what's your Twitter name then? At Thomas Lennon. <laughs> I, I like didn't it. go cutie pie. Speaking of cutie pie, you have very pretty fans. Yes, I know, the and it's alarming fans. to me, actually. It's a little disturbing. Yeah, yeah. I, I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised, too. I'm like, are you sure? I know, you know? I've, seen, I've seen the show. Uh, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because I my my fans everybody who ever like makes a t-shirt or a hat and wants to meet me it's you, a, you you have fans. I have a couple oh. of fans. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of fans. But have you have you ever seen that movie The Hills Have Eyes? Yes. <laughs> it's like I'm watching it again. Yeah. Not you know I haven't gotten that this sort of fan that you have yet. Well, this is my first two. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm very excited about you're it. You're not. You're not that. You're years away from creepy. Really? I don't know. I think you're, you're two, saying that to two me because or three you're three years dude. away from creepy. Two, two or three years. Absolutely. All right, then. I don't know. That will be 2011, 2012 before you're really a creepy grandpa. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I feel so much better. Yeah. Are you doing uh, Chris Hardwick's thing later tonight? The, I have a show uh, tonight. It's yeah. always fun to promote a show that's on tonight. Yeah, I'm doing a show with uh, Chris Hardwick in like an hour. So, if you have a time machine that you've made, or a DeLorean, go back to right now. Wait, wait, we're live. How could you do that? Oh, right, right. Yeah. We are live. I forgot. You're also, or, or if you have a time machine, come, just be, come right now and sit next to me. Yeah. Ah, doesn't nah, exist. No, no one's got it. Yeah, time no travel will it. never exist or we would have had seen something there. Well, that, that's not think? necessarily true. Do you oh, think time travel exists? About it. We would know about it. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. How Perha is that not true? Because perhaps in the future or the past, someone invented a time machine and realized that yep. if we, at this evil. period in, yeah, yeah. in time, found out about it, we'll we crazy. would use it for evil power. Right. We'll elect a black president or something crazy. <laughs> Look. But you turn a perfectly <laughs> innocent conversation about the possibility of time travel into something that's going to get me into trouble. Oh, that's not going to get you into trouble. But we have the, we have the power to build a Jeff, and Jeff yet we Pearson. still... Yeah, look, yeah. At that. look at that. Yeah, babe. <laughs> it, ne it literally never gets old. Yeah, I, no. well, it, you know, that's the beauty of robots. Um, yeah, babe. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sh shut Is up, he, Jeff. One no. day he will become self-aware and try to kill you, you know well, that. Well, yeah. the people have said that, but what, <laughs> once I have actually, you know, I've been in the studio on my own with Jeff ah. and late at night and his eyes lit up and mm -hmm. so did mine, mister. <laughs> So he becomes self-aware and it turns into a sort of a romance He's, between the two of he you. Yeah. He, he becomes self-aware, but he doesn't go crazy killing. He goes yeah. crazy Arr sexy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really. Yeah. Have you got a robot? 
I don't have a robot yet per se, no. No, I don't. I mean, what I, per who's, se we're, mean? All, we're all, everybody's working on a manservant robot. I have, I have, I, I have a Yorkshire, I have a Yorkshire Terrier that sometimes I wrap in aluminum foil. This makes me feel like I'm on the cutting edge of something. You know? Well, you're on the cutting edge of something over there. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. You shouldn't yeah. wrap up your Yorkshire Terrier in foil. Oh, she likes it. Really? Yeah. I suppose it deflects the heat of Los Angeles from her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing, nothing safer. Do you ever? I always thought it'd be nice to run marathons so I could get to wear foil without feeling guilty about it. Like, wait, time out. Wait. <laughs> When, when, in a, when in a marathon do you wear foil? At they the wrap end, you at the, the end, end, they wrap the you in white. Yeah, oh, I was you picturing a... you in like an aluminum foil diaper running a marathon. <laughs> and I thought, that Sounds good to me. <laughs> I didn't quite understand. Oh, at the end, they put a thing on because you're so, oh, you're cold, you just finished a marathon. You're cold yeah. because you've just run a marathon yeah. in an aluminum ah, diaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to prove that you're from Would the it be future? creepy if I ran around in an aluminum diaper? Aluminum? No. Let's go to uh, let's go to your fans. I don't think it would be. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? No. Yeah, I know. They're, clearly, they're misguided young yeah. women. <laughs> nah, they're not geniuses. <laughs> Wait a minute, Tom. Uh uh no uh you did not etc. Well, they're very they're very very pretty is what I meant. No, that was just what because I meant. they're very pretty doesn't right. mean they're not clever. That's what kind right. of crazy aesthetic fascism is that, my you're friend? Right, you're absolutely right. You're right. I apologize. Yeah, do, you, don't you worry about it, girls. I'll defend you you're, to a point. You're, you're just... <laughs> to a point, Tom. To a point. It's show right. business, you know. Right. <laughs> oh, I, w I would have loved to have had Jeff's job, by the way. Sidekick? Yeah. You don't want that I, job. Oh, are you kidding? No, robot. Oh, robot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but one day you would become self-aware and kill and me. Kill, yeah. or, yeah. or, or the other one. Why are you doing this? Is up. that some kind of sexy I'm piano? Gonna, it is, yeah. <laughs> it's two sexy air pianos, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you been working out a lot? Your arms look very big. I know you said that backstage, too. Yeah. And I guess I have been, yeah. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Why? why? I you know, oil yourself up? Because I'm... <laughs> yeah. I do. At my house, that's what we do. We have the robot Yorkie wrapped in foil. <laughs> And then I work out just like the ancient Olympians, just naked in olive oil. Oh, hang on, hang on. Do you hear a creepy noise? Oh, that big loud thing that yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah, what was that? Shh, shh. What was a creepy noise? Do you know what I think it is? Melina Kanakaridi's dad. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. The other side of town. <laughs> I've been wondering how to pronounce her name for so long. And it, rolls, it rolls right off yeah, your yeah, tongue. Yeah, 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 I know. I have, oh, really I have a problem with it. <laughs> you do? Well, I would never notice. <laughs> the way you. Sometimes I think you're being playful with me, Tom. I always am. I always am. Do you know you were good in that Zach, uh, Zach Efron movie? Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, 17 movie. again. That was great. That was a terrific movie. I, yeah. You know, he's really good. He's, that's what's eerie about him. Yeah, I know. He's like, yeah. he's, hey, here's the thing he's yeah. young, he's pretty. Yeah. And he's clever. Yeah. I it's know. like he like could be one fans. of those girls right there. <laughs> I think Tom I didn't mean you his apology, because you, young were ladies. Cute, you weren't also geniuses. I just meant that you were cute. Oh god, this is awkward now. <laughs> That's what I actually meant. <sighs> Tom Lennon, everybody. <laughs> That's how we're going. His name, Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom hey, Tom. Hey, Tom, Tom. Tom Lennon. Oh, knock it off. I'm just trying to, do, you know, there's we're so many all, things to avoid talking all... about. I thought I would talk about Pig Day, and now you come out and judge me. I do an amazing. Watch, let's see this. Watch this. That was not. I was nothing. Ready for my right, pig? Right, 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 No, 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 no. No! Wait! Do not do that. That, that is demeaning to pigs on Pig Day. And you don't look like a pig. You look like. Uh, that was amazing. That's yeah, like a Pixar right, movie in a chair. 
I, I, that's why I like that. If I pick him out here, I'd talk to them. I'd have to. It's my job. <laughs> no, you know what um, that's like? That was like uh, the character Miggs in Silence of the Lambs. Oh my goodness, yes. Miggs is the guy in the, yeah, the, the neck yeah, guy, the next yeah, cell yeah. over. I didn't say the other part of it. Right, right, yeah. He's just the next cell over and he asks Jodie Foss, says something very specific about Jodie Foss. Yeah, he does. Do you like that movie? Silence of the Lambs? Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, it's a good Who movie. It's that a movie? scary movie. Oh, Clarice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clarice. Yeah, yeah. Do you, hear, do you hear the lambs screaming, Clarice, as your daddy with the fondlings and the cars? Did you yeah. see it? <laughs> Did this see it? Did interview you see is now my demo reel. No. Between, <laughs> between Piggy Guy yeah. and very average Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I thought it was awful. Uh, I thought it was an awful Clarice. idea of your... Do you hear the pigs on pig day? No, that sounds like a... That's, that's R2-D2 Clarice. Anthony Hopkins. That's... Clarice. 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 What's the movie about then, Cedar Rapids? What's Cedar Rapids is a terrific picture. Uh, it stars Ed Helms, uh, your buddy. You like Ed Helms, right? Sure. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I went down the wrong, barking up the wrong tree. Well, you know, oh, Helms sorry. knows why. Starring that. Ooh, la, la. No, no. He, wow. he, knows, he knows why. He, he knows, knows why. why. He knows why. Well, is you I've some sort? Of, is there some sort of banjo feud going on between <laughs> no, you and him? I don't know it helps. <laughs> I just said no. What, no, what? I know. You aggressively were not going to meet. Apparently. No. Uh, come no. on. Don't start it's causing a, a celebrity feud, feud between. Oh, tweet feud. Tweet feud. Tweet feud. Tweet feud. <laughs> Twitter feud. Do you want to have a Twitter feud with me ever? Yeah, all right. I, I had one with uh, Stan uh, Lee, though, and uh, it got kind of... Stan Lee's 90 going. years old. Yeah, he kept going, though. He's a 90-year-old man. He wore me down. I had what, to block what, where him. Where on earth do you... You're, you're yelling at a 90-year-old man on Twitter. Hey! We let you into this country. Hey! We invited you in. And you're yelling at our nanogenarians? What hey, do we whoa, call them? Whoa, Nanobots? Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, I what did not yell at him. He yelled at me. What did he say specifically? I can't remember. And I don't listen to people when they yell at me. I, I just cave in. I can't take it. It overwhelms me. Especially Stan Lee. Well, um, did Stan Lee ever yell at you? Not yet. Yeah, you're jealous. Yeah. What do you invent? Every superhero? Every single one. Pretty Batman, much. Superman, uh, Eggman. Batman. Trouser Man. Eggman. Yeah. Treasure Man. No, no. <laughs> Trou trouser man. Trouser man. Yeah, yeah. He trouser was, uh, man. Yeah, he's very popular. You gotta be careful, kids. You can meet trouser man when you least expect. They do PSAs. He's got a van and he comes by. <laughs> trouser man. It's it's something no, to be aware on, of. No, knock it off. You're scaring me. Yeah. So what's your movie about that? Uh, Cedar Rapids is a great picture. Um, it's about uh, Ed Helms plays a character... Well, what do you do? Never mind Helms. I play a really, really sinister... Uh, I'm sort of a, one of the villains, actually. You're a bad guy in a yeah. movie? I know. Is what that amazing? Because I'm so incredibly charming. You've seen me be a pig. Yeah. You've seen me do terrible Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, right. Yeah, very, very bad. And yet, I'm versatile enough to also be someone you don't like. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Yeah, uh, you know, know everybody too. loves you. You're kind of like uh, Raymond. <laughs> For a second, I thought you said like Rain Man. Yeah, I was going to say that. Which feels also yeah, no, pretty you, accurate, you too. You do actually go to Vegas a lot, though, don't you? And count Me? cards and cheat and stuff. Oh, I used to. Oh, God, I used to. And then a baby. And then that just... Oh, yeah, of course. It. Yeah, you've got... They, they frown on... When you have a baby at a blackjack table, they just frown. I got a, I got a, I got a new one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's exciting. Like a month old. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah, no, it's having a baby. It's all right. It's the best. Well, it's great. Fills your heart with joy. No, it really does. It, it sounds does. a bit like me and Ed Helms there, right? <laughs> What's the name of your baby? Ed Helms? Um, wow. What, um, what did you have, a boy or a girl? I have a boy. I have a boy. My son Oliver is 20 months old. Oh, but that's yeah. awesome. 20 months is good. That's oh, it's a, fantastic. When do you stop doing months and go to years? Is that a thing with your people? Uh, two, right? Yeah, I don't know. With my people? What was that? Uh, you know. That was, that was the subtlest kind of racism. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, feel like you, I look kind of like you. <laughs> your people. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. The people You're... down in steerage on the Titanic. Those yeah. people. Arr. Oh, there's no, oh, no possible mean? way this could sink. <laughs> Leprechauns, my people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, that's uh, right. No, my boy is 20 months old. And is this, here's, do you find this true? I now, I went from a person, I didn't cry for like 10, 15, 20 years. You're right. Now I cry three to nine times a day. Wow. <laughs> I just cry all day long. What? Uh, the sleep deprivation? Not, probably partially. Yeah. Um, and partially just seeing him, like, just my irony's dead. My, my thinking everything stupid meter's broken. Ah, yeah. So now if he looks at anything, just like... 
you know, like a billboard for lap bands. And he goes, are you, wow. Are you telling me? I start crying. Are you telling me that this mm -hmm. child has melted your cold comic My heart? cold, cold leprechaun heart it has. <laughs> you phony bastard. And his name is, uh, escapes me for the moment. No, 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 no. I think that it's, I think it's, it's touching. That, that, it is uh, touching. Yes, they do do that. Yeah. I've got an older boy as well, yeah. who's just at the point now where he, everything I oh, say is stupid. the worst. Yeah. Teenage boys are the worst. No, he's not a teenager. He's only nine. Oh, the worst. <laughs> Nine-year-old boys are the worst. Wait a minute. They're the worst. You're Ed Helmsing me, aren't you? <laughs> I like your TARDIS, by the way. Oh, thanks very much. Not I to be a nerd, but it's a nice-looking yeah. TARDIS you yeah, got going no, on it's not a real one. There is no... It, oh, wow, not to get weird, but not a real TARDIS. A real TARDIS is a fictional thing anyway. So you're telling me that Doctor Who, the uh, cult series on the BBC, is fiction? <laughs> I wouldn't do that here. <laughs> You'd be right not to. I don't want to answer to your Twitter followers, who are yeah. a lively bunch, no doubt. Are they? Yeah, no, I, I follow you. You've got in the Twitter now. Seventy-three thousand. I follow you. Track. I follow you in the Twitter. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, I did. You're you're hilarious. I know. But see that thing you do at the end. Of, uh, every night. At the every end. night I say something very scary. Yeah, something you very like creepy. That. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, you know. Yeah. I say things like like every night on, on Twitter. I put my Twitter followers to sleep, and I say, uh, sleep tight. Remember, uh, very few things can eat uh, a large adult human being, except another stealthy adult human being. <laughs> Just like little thoughts to get inside your head. Yeah, you know? I know. It doesn't help me get to sleep reading your nighttime tweets, but I feel that if I block you, then it would be seen as an act of aggression. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'll go Stan Lee all over your ass. Yeah. And I'm one ex half his age, which means the energy level will be very high. Yeah, no, yeah. it's good. But he's Stan Lee, though. He has powers that you he and I He made up Trouser possess. Man. Yeah, Trouser Man. <laughs> Who's Trouser Man's enemy? Yeah. The belt witch. <laughs> the dreaded belt witch. I, I'd say to catch a predator is trouser man. Uh, just just dateline, yeah. yeah. Uh, mouth organ or of course. Cause? Uh mouth organ. Alright. Wow, this is a long one. Heard that? No. <laughs> it is a slightly long come on. Yeah, it is a slightly longer no, can you play? Oh we'll it'd be so awesome you could play, because hardly anybody can play. <laughs> now you can. You can do that with your hand, doesn't it? You can play. That looks like playing. No, it doesn't. So, please welcome the very cool Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. Hello, Jeff. What about hello, me? And Craig. Hi. Jeff and the gang, as they call the Jeff show. and the gang? Come on. You no, know, I love come you. on. It's Happy almost Bastille Day. It's Bastille Day soon, isn't we, it? We, 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 we. Everybody's got uh, Bastille Day fever. I think you'll find it's Bastille Day fever. A uh, fever. Oui, oui. This book looks very interesting because, uh, particularly this this copy of the book, because this is a mock-up of your book. Yeah, the book's this not actually is ready. just some piece of junk. They just see. Look at that. Uh, this what? is just junk. This, what this is, is this a, a conflict of interest by Adam Mitzner. Oh. Um. And now, a conflict of interest by Adam Mintzner. Yeah. To my daughters, Rebecca and Emily. Hey, 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 hey. Don't make um, fun of Adam's book. I wrote it. a real book that's in a, that comes in a, a, a package, that, a cover that looks just like that. Oh, and so we mocked yeah. this up to sell your book. Exactly. Whereas I, nobody's got a chance to read your book yet, in case it's not that good. <laughs> By the way, I don't believe I ever said it was good. Oh, okay. No, that's yeah. fair. In fact, well, I believe... There's Ben on the front of your book, Yeah, too. that's me and my writing partner. Yeah, and ben. piles of money. Here, in fact, the quote on it says, these, are the, these guys are the reason Night at the Museum won so many Oscars. <laughs> Which, by last count, is zero. Zero, yeah. yeah. But you did write it. You and Ben wrote Night at the Museum. Absolutely. And you wrote Night at the Museum 2, Revenge we, of Curly's Gold. Revenge and you wrote Curly's a... Gold. Uh, and the one that you and Jeff are doing next year? Night of the Museum 3, Jaws. Escape from Key West. Escape from Key West. <laughs> um, 
No, we've written. Michael Caine's in it. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 He's already shooting. He's, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's already started. He's we have already to catch started. up with he's, the jokes. <laughs> Uh, no, we've written, uh, Ben and I, most people know us from Reno 911, or I'm the sort of that creepy guy in the background of most movies. Um, You're kind of the creepy friend in a lot of movies, I aren't am. you? You're kind of the creepy, well, you are quite creepy. I'm me. also kind of your creepy friend. <laughs> mm. Is this a movie? Kind of. Am I Zach Efron? Oh my God! Oh my God! You do crunches and I'll do this. I think she likes you. <laughs> That's kind of, no. Oh, but this is actually kind of a great buddy movie of like a teenage guys, but they're both obviously way too old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like doing crunches and skateboarding. And you see that in LA all the time. You yeah. see guys out with like, you know, 50 year old men out with skateboards yeah. and, you know, I'm that'll, one of those guys. That'll be us. We'll reboot. <laughs> We're like, we get into like extreme like pogo clubs. <laughs> you know the pogo stick? <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. Are you on the pogo stick? Is that what you're saying to me? You started pogoing? Are this people is, doing that? Is that the new Pilates? No, but in our, in our movie, <laughs> that could catch on. It would, actually. I can see you it You do one on. interview where you're like, oh, you know, thanks. I'm feeling really great. I yeah. look really good. I'm doing two hours on the pogo every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's really the core energy, oh, a lot of core you energy. You get one Kardashian oh, on yeah. a pogo stick. Well, not the big giant one, because then everybody be like, oh, well, no. Which Kardashian do you mean is the big giant one, Craig? I don't know. What one's the big giant one? Uh, to the board. Uh, Kim, right? No, no, Kim's not the big giant one. Kim's the uh, famous Kim's one? the one, the famous one. Right. Because it's Kim and the gang. Right. Right. You know, you know, I figured out which Kardashian I look the most like. Why are you saying Kardashian? How do you say it? It's Kardashian. You're like one of those news readers that says Nicaragua, like that. Right. Nicaragua. You're saying Kardashian. Kardashian. No, no, I see. You're saying it to appear smarter than you are. From the Carpathian Mountains. No, no, no. <laughs> the Kardashian. Yeah, it's Kardashian. I'm sorry if I've done anything to embarrass the Kardashian family. No, they've done everything to embarrass the Kardashian family. I'm All right, Jeff, you're drummed out of our improv group. something was going to happen. <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, yeah, too late. Okay, that was too little good. To, actually, this Mitchner book's not bad, i got to tell you. Well, the book, but here, the screenwriting book, this is a... This is is it about how it's to write a screenplay? Book. We've written nine films. Yeah. Some are like Night at the Museum. Right. Some are Herbie Fully Loaded. You wrote that? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that movie. Wow. You're being I'm sarcastic. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> In, I, I think in fairness, Herbie Fully Loaded, one of the top ten Herbie movies. Yeah. You know? Hey, hey, here's an interesting well, thing. It's gotta about be right just by process of elimination. Well, I think there's only about eight of them. But there's only eight. Did, and you it's know, Herbie, top ten. Herbie, this is what I always mm. thought would be good in a Herbie movie. No, yeah. I didn't see your one yet. I'm gonna see it very soon. But mm -hmm. the uh, the Herbie movies, you know that uh, Ferdinand Porsche and Hitler came up with the idea of the Volkswagen. Oh, the Volkswagen, the People's Wagon. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. So the bug was basically a design by Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. Make the car a Whoa, Nazi. Nazi. Nazi People would go oh, crazy. Mr. Voice of Mel Gibson. Yeah, that's right. He's like, Who are you? Oh. Come on then, Lindsay, get over here. You could Lindsay. do it. Australian Nazi car. Yeah. That, yeah. Well, you're doing a pirate face though. <laughs> What does he look like? He looks like, Mel Gibson? Very much like that, right? Well, a little bit. Do we have a photograph of Mel Gibson anywhere? No, probably not. What about, uh, yeah. Something like this. No, that's one of them cats that, you right. know, they put oh, the on the poster. Cat. Yeah. You know the poster that says, hang on in there, baby? Hang in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, so this is a book. If oh, yeah, you wanna, yeah, book, yeah. The uh, premise is, if you want to, uh, make it writing movies, you don't need really any education, nope. training, nope, or experience, mm -hmm. or to be particularly bright. <laughs> Just read the book. And it's got all the stuff you need in it. And you can you know YouTube. people will buy this and read it and follow what it says and it make really millions does, of dollars. And then yes. you can sue them. So I shall. Yeah. <laughs> I, there actually are, I believe, six or seven free movie ideas in the book that you were allowed, once you bought it, to just go out and pitch, and if you sell them, you know, bon chance and best of luck. Bon yeah. chance? Oh, you heard me. I've got Bastille Bill de Feather. Feather, yeah. It's almost like you're a Kardashian, yeah. <laughs> so let's, uh, because this cover is on Adam Mitzner's book, if I go right. pitch Adam Mitzner's book. As a movie. As a movie, and I, that means right. I don't have to pay Adam Is Mitzner? it about me and Zac Efron and pogo sticks? No, you probably have to pay him. 
You got uh, you got sexy girls on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's an exciting cover. Yeah, it is. That's the problem. Oh, Has your wife way, seen this cover? Have you noticed? Did your wife seen this cover? That's yeah, she has. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I point something out? You notice on the cover of the book, fun and is crossed out. The actual, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The title of the book is writing movies for profit. <laughs> I don't think there was any implication that it's going to be fun. You're not going to have a great time. What, writing a movie? No. It's, it's the not. best time you can have. It's, it's how you while away those lonely hours in Starbucks. You've written several. You've written a couple of movies. I've how many movies have you written? Uh, two. Three. No, no, two. no. Three. Three, I think. Three. Three, yeah. It took three. you a long time to three, think Three, three, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> well uh, one of them I don't care for, and the other two were a long time ago. Don't care for? Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> If, if we're gonna start, if we're gonna start judging people because they write movies that we don't care for, I don't want to live in that world. Okay, that's not what I signed up for, because I have written some turds. You mean I'm being too hard on myself? Yes. Like I'm some sort of if you Nicaraguan Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, maybe, a, that's yeah. a great, those are two words that are almost all vowels. Nicaragua, Yeah. Um, We're done, Tom. I love it. It's great seeing you. It's lovely to see you. Awkward uh, pause or mouth organ? Um, you know, the last time, can I, here's the thing. The last time I, I accepted the mouth organ. <laughs> yes, <and> you did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I stepped right into that as I often do. Uh, but here's the thing, these are, these are toy harmonicas, these are not top quality. I wish, I wish you had said, would, here, here's a harmonica, by the way, it's not going to be the best harmonica you've ever played in your whole life. Well, why I would I want to talk with, like I was in the mafia uh, or something? <laughs> hey, what you gonna do? Hey, it's a coming to go, here's a mouth organ, it ain't that good. My friend Vinny gave it to me, you should be alright. I, I I'm will, sorry, Italian-Americans, I I'm sorry. And Kardashian-Americans. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I will accept it. Do you want to do a thematic awkward pause, or how do you want to do it? No, we'll do a thematic. We could do a well, finger theme awkward pause. We could do... Yeah. Uh, we could... That's a real awkward pause. No, it is, yeah. Yeah, uh, smell my finger awkward pause. Okay. Uh, we could do awkward pause with sexual undertones. So, two. Oh, that, you want, that one. You yeah. don't even want to know what they're at the other okay, one? Okay, three. What's the uh, other one? The, you are an ultimate fighter, and you are about to kill me awkward pause. I'll take that one. <laughs> no, uh, I'll take a combination of... I'll do all three at different times. Smell my finger. Yeah. It's never been done before. You've, you've never had this average of a character actor sitting all right, next then, to you. Right. Smell my finger. Sexual undertones. Right. You're an uh, you're, uh, ultimate fighter and you're going to kill. Right. Right. Well, well I do. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I thought we both act out all... Th we do both do them all. Okay. Right at each other, right? Fine. Right. Here we go. Thomas found a picture of a tit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's lying on the floor there. How are you, young fella? That and spitting distance. I'm fantastic. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. It's good to see you, pal. Yeah, it's good to see you. I like your shirt. It's very, uh... You like it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's brand new. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> That's nice. It's, uh, that's your... Is that one of them ones that goes funny on TV? That, you know, there's a... You know what the word for that is? What? Moray. Moray, like the eel. Like Moray Povich? Exactly. <laughs> He used to wear shirts that would do that. Do you know he he is par eel, Mokipovich. Yeah. And you can't you can't photograph him and not have that that strobing effect. So that's why they call it Mokipovich. Exactly. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's why his show was doing still on doing right? great. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> still on doing great. More if your yeah. show is on call right now. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Wonder ring. No. Wow. How are you, pal? So let's talk Great. about giraffes. Uh, uh, here's you're you're the, the America's. Them. What? A giraffe can eat its own weight in Chinese food every day. 
No, I see. I made up that, that you were uh, uh, an expert you on didn't giraffes, know was, and, yeah. and and you, you know, right up until you said that stuff about Chinese food, people right. believed it. You know, there were there were right. giraffe enthusiasts were tuning in saying, "Finally, right. our moment! So finally, someone's yeah. gonna tell, someone's gonna tell the truth." About giraffes. About giraffes. Yeah. Instead of the web of lies <laughs> that has been perpetrated about them. Well, uh, I was. You ever I, seen a giraffe up close? <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. Uh, You've like got a young child. But, don't you, don't, don't you, don't you nothing to the zoo? but. Nothing but giraffes. Giraffes' tongues are, for example, they look exactly like that. They're exactly that color. No, I don't. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> that is, in fact, a giraffe's tongue. I'm sorry, Peter. Sorry. <laughs> giraffe's tongue. Sorry, Morrissey. Morrissey? He's just in, in animal rights. Yeah, well, yeah. so am I. I like, I like, you know, I'm, I'm not against animal rights. I'm, you know, I'm not like, so no, when you've got too much right. rights You would never is, wear you know. a giraffe, yeah. No, no, I would never wear right. a giraffe's we tongue. Should, so let's let them vote. Who? Animal oh, animals? Oh, oh. But, but what if it was hands up? What if it was like raised hands voting? Then giraffes would be like, oh, oh and then over you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, now, when I was standing backstage and you introduced me as America's, Amer or the world's premier giraffe expert, yeah, I, I was a little bit confused. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just trying to, you know, spice it up a little bit, make oh, okay. it a little more interesting. Because what we're going to say, oh, here's an actor, okay. he's very funny, he's in a movie? Yeah. That's happened before in Late Night. Yeah. But how often, right. how often do you say, this right. guy, he's an actor, he's right. very funny, he's what a nice guy, and he knows everything about giraffes? Next time, can we work out, it could be like, this guy... This guy is wanted for a crime he didn't commit. Is that true? Are you? Maybe. <laughs> and maybe I did it. I don't know. Well, were you hideously drunk? It's a possibility. Okay. Yeah. How are things with your young child? Uh, they're amazing. The boy, my son, you, you have a child. Having a child's hilarious. This morning, my son ordered something very specific for breakfast from me that I was making. You work in a diner? No, at our... <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's tough being a character. Actor, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, he, my son looked me in the eye and mm -hmm. said what he wanted for breakfast, and that was Saganaki. <laughs> Isn't that an alcoholic beverage yes. that goes with sushi? <laughs> no, it's, uh, that's uh, uh, sake. Oh. Uh, Saganaki is a cheese that to properly make you have to set on fire with ouzo. <laughs> So it's cheese you know about then, is that what it is? <laughs> How does your kid know about that? He, he, it's a, one of his early words just happens to be Saganaki. And from Greek restaurants, because when stuff catches fire and he gets to know, Saganaki! Saganaki! Yeah, he loves yeah, it, he's yeah, very excited. Yeah. So this morning, that was his, his bre official breakfast order was Saganaki! So uh, I, I didn't know that Lenin was a Greek name. Is that it, a Greek it, name, it, Lenin? It is, there's four Y's in it. <laughs> You ever been to Greece? It's a lovely country. Oh, have I, Whoa, I've been to Greece? I've been to Greece. Yeah, you yeah, haven't, have you? Ha you have not lived until you've watched me crash a moped in Greece. <laughs> you haven't lived until you thought, does that guy know how to ride a moped? <laughs> I'm going to skip ahead to the answer. No. No, yeah. No. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I thought, I, when I was in Greece, you've been to Greece? You're, no, you're, actually, never. You've never been to no, Greece? No, I, I saw it on Broadway. Completely different type of uh, thing. No, I, I, uh, I have not been to Greece. I feel terrible about have it. Have you been to Ibiza? No, no, no. Because really? I, I feel like you're so fabulous. I feel like Scottish people are going to Ibiza to like nude beaches. Oh, the they do. They, they do. do. Yeah, I just wasn't invited. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you agree, you agree from, from the outside, you're in that category of guys, like say I'm walking on a nude beach in Ibiza and I ran into you, I'd be like, oh, of course. <laughs> That's fair. I think that's I think fair. So. I think yeah, it's yeah, fair. Yeah, fair. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, that guy. Of course. Yeah. Like, but if you yeah. uh, if you run into me on a beach in uh, Ibiza and yeah. we're both naked, like, would you get a stiffy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would try because. I yeah, I try to get a little bit of a stiffy. Yes, so yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Yeah. But you're not gonna just for like you know like it's no, like, I know, it's like good posture. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you wouldn't go for the full giraffe. No, 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 yeah, yeah. no, no. Right. No, that would be gay. Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, just a couple guys, if we ran into each other on a nude beach in Ibiza, <laughs> let's, and let's really work out the details of this scenario, because it's getting more fun for me. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm, we're out of time, John. Uh, <laughs> we are. Uh, look, why, why don't you have a, an awkward pause, a mouth organ, or uh, go for the big cash prize? Uh... 
I, I would love, I, you know, I feel like I'll fail at the cash prize. How much is it? Fifty. Fifty dollars in singles, except at any strip club in the United States. Can I do some kind of awkward pause while you ask me a question? And I'll do the awkward pause for free. <laughs> You know, let me tell you That's something. About, let me That's tell you something about you Hollywood types. Yeah. All right. The menu is the menu. It's not the list of -la -la ingredients. It's the menu. You want that? You want that? You want? Oh, can I have that? But I can I have that? All right. Egg What's the coming to go? You. Crikey, dingo. I'm you doing all three. You all three. I'm doing all three. You're right with the whole all three. There you go. Me. Ready? All right. So give me a scenario for go. a pause. Awkward pause. The awkward pause is that you uh, have uncontrollable flatulence. You're playing a mouth organ and you have to answer a question for $50. Where's my $50? Oh, here it is. All right. You ready? Okay. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Within 10 years, how long did the Hundred Years' War in France last? Eight years. <laughs> Close enough! 116! People say to me, Craig, please put your pants on. And I do. <laughs> and a lot of people have been asking me recently, they say, Craig, what's going on with Jeff? Something's going on with Jeff. We want old Jeff back. Look, old Jeff will be coming back. The thing is, the essential maintenance is being conducted on Jeff's innards. <laughs> and so every night for the next two weeks, he will have a different personality. It was a big hit in that show that's just been cancelled. That's right. <laughs> What's it called? I forget that one's called. Yes. For example, tonight Jeff seems to be gay in Spanish. <laughs> Los dos. Si lo mismo. I'm afraid I don't speak that. That was me saying yes to both of those things. I see. <laughs> so tonight, Jeff, your personality takes on that of a fabulous Spaniard. Si. I see. <laughs> Well, this is going to be fantastic. Are you actually from Spain itself? When did you come to these United States? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I am the least. I'm the least famous brother of Antonio Banderas. No. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. You're Antonio Banderas's robot skeleton brother. That's exactly Who's right. Who's also flamboyant? Yes, yes. This is uncanny. I didn't know such a thing existed, but I'm delighted. Yes, in, 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 I have a in Spain. They call me. Chloe Banderas. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're see, far, see. you're far yeah. too small to be a Chloe. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was a cross line. No, I don't. No, 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 no. That was out of line. No, no, no. It was not out of line. I'll tell you why it was not out of line. She's not an actress. She doesn't do anything. She's just somebody who's on TV and is a fame whore. So she's a perfect legitimate target. That's right, I agree. <laughs> do, do you think she got to keep the bridesmaid's dress? No, that was that was court. Uh, that, oh, was, right, that was right. Chloe. That, right. was, uh, right. that was Kim. She's awesome. Oh, no, she's amazing. Yeah, she is. Yeah. I like those shoes. Hey, my ear just butt. went. My ear just went funny. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get that? No, what happened? Yeah, my ear. Just went. <laughs> Did you ever get your ear kind of just goes like that? What happened? I don't know. Do you, you know what they call that? What? Vertigo. <laughs> then you fall down. I'm not falling. I'm not going to lie down on that. No, it happens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, look, we have to get on then. Yeah, yeah. You know, what we do here is flamboyant Antonio Banderas' gay Spanish brother is. That's right, please, isn't it? Please, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe. Right, Chloe, well, we have to take a commercial break, and then we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Right. England. <laughs> Everything I do. <laughs> Even Sean Connery hated that song. He said, Here's something you can do. Punch yourself in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that movie, whoever you are tonight, Jeff? Si, claro. <laughs> me gusta. Me gusta? Ah, oh, si, claro, me gusta. <laughs> So, you like Kevin Costner then, oh. Spanishy sounding, Jeff? Yeah, I like Kevin Costner. I like him so much, Craig. 
Jeff, I like this new you. You seem to be very positive and upbeat. This is Jeff from Barcelona. Barcelona, Jeff. I love Barcelona. It's one of my favorite cities. I enjoy the tapas. Do you oh, enjoy the tapas? See, I like the tapas. I like the baramas. I like them both. <laughs> so you're still a fan of the double entendre then, even although you're Spanish, <laughs> I see. Claro que sí. Maravillosa. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't speak Spanish. But that's okay. It just means good times. <laughs> Teach me how to say it. Teach me. Ma. Ma. Ra. Ra. Si. Si. The next part is big. Ready? Hosa. I can't do that. No, <laughs> No, just legally, I'm not allowed to do okay. that. Yeah. Now, you've got to be a citizen for ten years before you can oh, do that. Oh, see, you're just two. <laughs> oh, two years as yeah, a yeah, citizen, yeah. yes. Yeah, no. how, long, how long have you been a citizen? I, I, I'm still a resident alien. <laughs> <laughs> you most certainly are. All right, um, would you like to introduce the commercial break? Yes, I would. Okay. Now it's time for the pay for the show. It comes on late at night. It's commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show where tonight Jeff is not Jeff. He is, in fact, Chloe Bandera. Chloe Bandera. Chloe Banderas. Hey. hey, you know what? Do you ever read uh, erotic romance novels there, Jeff? I mean, Chloe. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I listen to them on audiobook. Oh, yeah. you do? Who's your favorite person to listen to when they're reading on the audiobooks, the sexy voiced actors? Oh, sexy voice. I like, uh, who was the guy that played the owl in uh, Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> That guy's voice, that guy's voice could just undress me with his voice. He could just, he could just pin me down with the, the ground with his voice. And just say, I'm going to do something wonderful to you. What would that wonderful thing be? I don't know. If I ever meet that guy, I swear, I'm going to do you know, something. I have to tell you, Chloe, if that yeah. is your name, you sound yeah. a little bit like Al Pacino in Scarface on Helium. <laughs> You want the bad guy? I'll show you the bad guy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what time is it, Chloe Peterson? It's time to do emails and tweet. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, bleeding, bleeding, blue and web, face coat, whistle, ass mode, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets. And also email. And email. All right, see what we got. This is, uh, let's see, this is, um, mm -hmm, yes, this is from Claire in Minneapolis, Minnesota. You ever been to Minneapolis there, Chloe? Oh, yeah, it's cold. It's hace frío. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. I, I apologize. I know that people watch this show for its lack of accents. <laughs> I didn't get that. What did you say? Uh, I'm not getting any of this. What did you say? I, th I couldn't tell what you say. I, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. You I sound fine. I, I sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear you laughing out of your nose there. No, that was I just passed wind. <laughs> Is that part of the essential maintenance that's going on in your inner? That's right. It's called a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is from Claire in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Dear Craig and uh, Chloe, um, will you host the Oscars now that Eddie Murphy is out? Not that anyone's asked me, but if they did, I'd say, Sacre bleu. <laughs> and everybody thinks, oh, you're just saying that because they, they won't ask you. And you're right. <laughs> This is from Max in Pasadena in California. Ever been to Pasadena, California? Got a little place there? Like to go swimming? Oh, yeah. I got a craftsman out there. It's nice. You have a craftsman in Pasadena? 
<laughs> yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> no, I don't know how it is. How easy? <laughs> you know, Antonio got a place. It's not my place. It belongs to Antonio and uh, Melanie. It's their place. So you, you, <laughs> <laughs> you live in Antonio and Melanie's craftsman in Pasadena. <laughs> That's right. They, they don't know about it, but I'm there. Okay. Uh, they might hear about it. Um, dear Craig and Chloe, I accidentally called my girlfriend by the wrong name earlier today. How do I recover from this? Grow a moustache. <laughs> right there. Is that right? <laughs> this is from Kathy in Latrobe in, uh, in America. Um, <laughs> Pennsylvania? Wisconsin. Yeah. Latrobe. You ever been to Latrobe, Pennsylvania? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. No, I didn't understand that. Say it again. See. <laughs> Hi, uh, Craig, Jeff, who's a Chloe, and the Secretariat! That's it. No, no, we're done. I, I accidentally dropped the emails. <laughs> you ever accidentally dropped something there, uh, Jeff? Chloe? Oh, my God, you're kidding all the time. Look at my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's like the worst carpal tunnel you ever saw. Every now and again, you sound a little bit Transylvanian. Do you know that? <laughs> it's like, I, the worst, the dreadful, I mean, and then you're Spanish again. Well, that's you know. like, I get around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Welcome back. My first guest tonight is a very, very beautiful... You hear this? I see. Well, you were looking over there. I could see you looking over. What are you looking at? I look at She's coming out. <laughs> You're not checking out my ass, are you? Yeah, poquito. I wish poquito. Uh, oh, snap! <laughs> Stop this! Uh, my uh, first fine. guess. Hey, uh, do, do you recognize the uh, voice of the robot tonight by any chance? I'll just dangle this in front of you. I would bow down to you if my dress wasn't so tight, <laughs> Lieutenant. Please, no apologies for that dress. It's amazing. <laughs> Really? It's, yeah, I know. It looks like someone airbrushed it on you. I like that you're appreciating it. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Are you appreciating it as much as I appreciate seeing you in your shorts for so many years? Oh, that's nice. Thanks. That's nice to say. I'd like to hear more about that time that you guys met in a club. No, no, no. No, what the hell? Are there no, no, we want to talk that? about... No, no, no. So the movie was... Uh, we talked about it. You know, it sounds Tonight. great, this movie. So who, who else is in it? Uh, did, did have... What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> well, Spanish, Chloe, Jeff, Peterson, what else? Banderas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, it's going to be sad that you're going away, but it's you're going away. Now, sad for me, too. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I can't understand anything you're saying. That's okay. That was not words. <laughs> Wait, you just make up sounds and that you was, sit... That was just a sad sound. <laughs> well, you can't just make sad sounds and expect me to understand them. It's not like you have an expression. No, really, no. <laughs> no, no. It's not like, oh, I'll read your body language, here it is. Oh, I will. That your voice is so familiar. Do you play the owl in Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> because if that was you, you could you could take me right here, like you and Ellen Barkin that one time. No, no, that's not. No, not no. Those were ships that pass in the night. <laughs> What's that passing the night? Sheep. Sheep. 
sheep? The sheep. Pa- sheep's yeah. the past of the night? Like, yeah. rrr, 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 yeah. like <laughs> sheep? Uh, yes, exactly. Sometimes at night, the sheep on the hill get lost and oh, they pass each other. Oh, you don't need to tell me. I'm Scottish. I like a good... <laughs> oh. ah. Oh, a sheep lost in the night is like money in the bank. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's just I'm excited. <laughs> yes, I can tell from your body language and you're excited, sir. Watch this. Yeah, watch this with my hand. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's a party. <laughs> As I can hardly wait for Dave to come out and comment on it. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was good. That was good. Oh, yeah, that do was that. Good one. I like that David Tell. He's nice. He is very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> He's not married, you know. I'm not surprised. No. That's <laughs> good. good night, everybody. Good night. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. We're very excited tonight. Things are going crazy. The robot has the personality of Larry King. I was reading a book during the commercial break. <laughs> This book, uh, the author of this book is on, is on the show tomorrow night. The book is called Small Town Girl. It was written by Linda Cunningham, and she's my mother-in-law. <laughs> it's a romantic novel. I was reading it's actually pretty good, except there are bits in it that are filthy. <laughs> <laughs> We had celebrities read them. Take a look at this. And now, Tom Lennon reads an excerpt from Linda Cunningham's Small Town Girl. (laughs) The bullfrogs in the pond at the bottom of the meadow had taken over, sounding like a whole percussion section in a symphony orchestra. Nameless little insects tweeted, buzzed, and chirped. Oh, look! Oh, look! cried Lauren, pointing excitedly in the darkness. Fireflies. So, run it by me again. You're not Jeff Pearson, you're Chloe Banderas. I am under the reboot, so for now I am the voice of Antonio Banderas, at least the famous brother. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> All right, so, you, yeah. so you're the, you have the voice and personality... Yeah, so you have the voice and personality of Chloe Banderas. Si. That's right. The least famous brother of Antonio Banderas. Yeah, I can't get any endorsement deals. <laughs> But Antonio Banderas doesn't have famous brothers. Oh, uh, no, yeah, you get like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's no. Antonio Banderas. That's, that's not, it's not like, you know, uh, Tito and Regis yeah, and all that. Two, that's, you just named two of them. The two there? Yeah. Really? Tito and Regis they're Banderas? All, yeah, they're the ones who have the sexy abs and everything, yeah. <laughs> I think Antonio Bandera, he's got the sexy abs, well. Oh, he's amazing, he's amazing. I'm very blessed to live in his cross space. <laughs> you live in his cross space? That's right, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. I, I, you know, I just scurry about down there, you know. Uh, can I ask you about your hat? Okay, see, we call it sombrero, see? It's not a sombrero. Yes. A sombrero is a large uh, hat that shields right. you from the sun. This is a kind of Disneyland. Ay, caramba! <laughs> no part of what you just said will ever be on TV. I <laughs> know, uh, I, I think the Disneyland part will make it on. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. No, but it, this is a, it's a bullfighter's hat. It's, it's, yeah, it see, is. We call wait, it wait, for a uh, It's stuck matador. to your head. That's right, because... Wait it, a minute, is that underpants <laughs> under here? Stop it. <laughs> I had a crazy night last night. You, you have underpants for brains? <laughs> that makes two of us. Hey! How dare you? How dare I? How dare you? <laughs> Well, just because you say it like that doesn't make any sense. You go, how dare I, how dare you? It doesn't make it, it, doesn't make it mean anything. You've got underpants for brains. Yeah, I know, and I say, that's them to you. <laughs> no, I didn't get any of that. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, every hat in Spain is called a sombrero. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, I don't even yes. think I don't even think you've ever even been to Spain. Okay, okay I make Portugal. It's close. <laughs> oh no, 
Well, but Portugal, pretty no, much no, six no, to one. You know, Portugal is a completely different language. That's Portuguese. Yeah, speak some to me if you know it so well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fala português. Oh my goodness! I, you, I thought he was bluffing, but he had a. <laughs> He had Portuguese up his sleeves. Wait, well, just because you rhyme for something doesn't mean oh, that... Oh, the audience liked it. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're only... Wait. No, wait. they're like... No. The lesbians. audience is only siding with you because they hate me. <laughs> you know that lesbians love rhyming. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the lesbians hate me tonight. What the hell? Uh, it's the hair. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with my hair? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just you, saying. You clearly know. I'm just saying, if I did not swing the way that as you, I would say, what's up with the guy's hair? <laughs> what the hell is my hair? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, it look good. It look good from that one angle. What <laughs> angle? I'll, I'll, I'll do yeah, that. Do the whole show like that. that. Like this? That looks great. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Do you like going to the big box stores there, uh, Chloe Banderas? Oh, me gusta so much, Craig. See, <laughs> is that a real uh, Spanish matador hat you're wearing, or that, is that kind of Mickey right, Mouse? Because, yes, in Spain we killed the cats in a corrida. <laughs> it's magnificent. Yes. No, you do, we look. We're, we're, we don't kill cats. Of course not. No. Of course not. <laughs> Of course we don't do that. Yeah, we would never, never you don't, we don't shoot cats. No, we, we don't, don't do that. Anyway, mystery. We would never do that. No. We would never do that. <laughs> no one, anyone's looking. <laughs> Look, people, if people think we're even joking we're about... Not. I know, people for the fabulous treatment of animals will get so mad. Yeah, they'll, get, they'll get mad. And you know, I'm a big supporter of PETA. I think they do are. great work and I don't want them thinking. I'm in any way suggesting people be That's mean right. to cats. You've been a big supporter for years. <laughs> You heard what I say. Yeah, but I don't understand what you It said. means you need a big thing to hold your genitals. Oh! Oh, I see. So That's I, right. I have, why do I need a big thing to... Look, big shoes, big feet, you know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> big shoes, big feet, shoot cats? That's, that, <laughs> that's right. No, no. No, but you get... That just you can't say that! I this is the CBS Tiffany Network! This is the place where we have all the classy programs! <laughs> I, I can't even say it! You can't say it with a straight face! Yeah, what? You can't say it with a straight face! I can't say it with a straight face! <laughs> say it with a straight face! A what face? Say it with a straight face! <laughs> no, I didn't get any of that. What did he say? You know, the weird thing is, I didn't understand myself. <laughs> Well, that's probably a good thing, because if you don't understand you, then there's a good chance the censor won't understand you, that's and right. we, we might get some of the <laughs> on the air tonight. <laughs> Gonna be a real short one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, would you like us to take us to the um, commercial? This is the first part of the show. We go to commercial. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> that thing's going over there, old uh, underpants. For, but why have you got underpants in, under your hat? It's just, you know, sometimes I like to stuff. <laughs> nah, I like to stuff too, but yeah. I don't wear underpants under my hat. Yeah, but you just like to stuff to show everybody. I got a big brain up there. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get any of that. You get any of that? First one thing I hate, it's an accent. You and me también. That means you and me both. Oh, okay. Is that what it means, también? También. También. It's like ambient with a T. Ah, yeah. I do like ambient with a oh, nice cup of tea. A nice yes. cup of tea and an ambient. Oh. And you never have to watch the... Okay. It's... The drink of kings and queens. An ambient in your tea? Oh, it's the best. Oh, it's lovely. That's what the queen drinks, you know. Oh, that's right. I'll just have an ambient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but she looks great. She does look good. Do you know what age the Queen is? The Queen is 100? 109. 109 years old. I was about to say that. 109 years old. 109. 109. 109. Is that true? Did you know that number? You can count on me for accurate numbers in Spanish. Pretty soon they're going to make an app out of me. What time is it, Chloe Branderis? It's time to read emails and tweets. <laughs> yeah! Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right! Hell to the metal again, there's soon. You ran me out of bed and gagged me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't run back. Without your touch, I'm grown into the max. So hit me with a gun, tweet me! It's moon! All right, this is a. Uh, this is from uh, this is from Marina in Frankfurt in Germany. You ever uh, you ever been to Frankfurt, Germany? You, you know anything about oh, Frankfurt? Yes, they got marvelous sausages. <laughs> they do have marvelous oh, sausages. Marvelous. You know what they call they call them wieners? That's like right. we like our slang name for penis? Yeah, they yeah. call them sausages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? And they stuffed our mouth with them. <laughs> Are you okay? Is everything okay? Everything's fine okay. with me. Everything okay with you? Everything's maravillosa. <laughs> yes, everything's maravillosa with me, too. I'll write it down for you later. <laughs> what, wieners? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I write, every time I get an email from Germany, I have to speak in a German accent. That doesn't bother you, does it? No, claro que sí. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, or, you know, Chloe Banderas. <laughs> I am single and all of my friends are constantly trying to hook me up with somebody. Are they being nice or are they patronizing me? <laughs> you are German, so I'll say this in a way you'll understand. Lighten the up. <laughs> <laughs> but if you swear with an accent, that's what brings the lesbians round to your side. That's how you get them. Yeah. That's how you get them. That's how you get them. <laughs> Hector in Hamilton, New Jersey said, Hey Craig and Jeff, or Chloe Vendors, my girlfriend can't sleep with the TV off and I can't sleep with the TV on, which results in constant arguments. What can I do? Oh, sleep with a man. Uh, <laughs> or sleep with a man who's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Marjorie in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, dear Craig and Chloe Banderas, my brother is about to be 26 and he won't move out of the house and I want his bedroom. Any advice on how to make him move out? Mm. <laughs> I, I, I usually, usually I, I, what I do is I throw a commercial, but that doesn't, that's not going to work in this circumstance. We, we, I just say, I'm just, we got to film again the place, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, there you are. Tell your brother, who's lived there his whole life, uh oh, we've got to fumigate the place. You're going to have to move out. Yeah, yeah. We're so sorry. <laughs> That's right. It works every time. That's what, how Antonio got me out of the cross space for a while. <laughs> yeah, well, then, then it might work. Then it might work. Yeah. All right, this is from Mark in Aloha in Oregon. I didn't know there was a town called Aloha in Oregon. It means hello and goodbye, Oregon. Yes, it does. It means hello, Oregon, if you're Hawaiian. <laughs> what about that? Hawaiian. Are you okay? Yes, I'm, say I'm saying Hawaiian in a, in a Hawaiian accent. Hawaiian. <laughs> you're saying Hawaiian and then you're choking on cat fur. <laughs> No, I That's never choked. I have never choked on a cat, and I have never shot a cat. <laughs> uh, look, I love all God's creatures, except cats. <coughs> it's a joke. I love cats. <laughs> This is from Maureen in Portland in uh, Maine. Because there's two Portlands. There's one in Oregon and one in Maine. That's right. Yeah, well, that's what this, this yeah. is. Yeah. Is there an Aloha in Maine? That's right. I didn't know that. that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dear Craig and Chloe, my partner and I are looking to expand our sexual experiences and would like to try a threesome. 
Any suggestions on where to find that third person? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know where you'd find anyone. Uh -huh. But, uh, well, you ever been in a threesome now? Uh, yeah, but it didn't turn out so good. Really? What happened? I was, you know, I was kind of the fifth wheel. It was a, so it wasn't a threesome then, it was a five something? Yeah, it was a group thing and I came, I was really late. It was, I didn't know it was fall back. So I was like an hour. Oh, I see. So you didn't like get your clock late. back and then yeah. you were, oh. And that's, then I was, you That's know, so it, embarrassing, isn't it? That is awkward because yeah. everybody's already going and then yeah. you're going to be like, hey, I'm sorry I'm so late. <laughs> And then you don't know where to, you have to yeah, find you your way in. Get in. It's yeah. like a crazy game of people Jenga and you don't know where to yeah. fit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's just, it's awkward, you know what I mean. Did you say people Jenga? That's right. Jenga made with a, just a bunch of bodies in a, in a stack up in a cheap hotel. Yeah, I understand. I yeah. understand what it is. Yeah. That's why I say. Why? Why are you not looking over there? I think, I think my face is broken. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll take a break. We'll try and fix that. Chloe, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the big show where, um, well, it's not that big a show, really. It's a pretty small show, but we have that. Why not not chess? Take that, everyone else. <laughs> With your bands and your publicity machines and your... We don't, we don't need those guys. You know, we actually we other. do. We do need those guys, ah. but, but we don't have them. But I what wouldn't... we do have... What do we have? I'm trying to remember. Not, not much, really. Not much. <laughs> each other? It's nice. We got each other. Got each other. Got each other. Uh, faith in the human spirit. Yeah, we can faith yeah. in the human spirit. That's right. That's right. You got your health. <laughs> You've got your... Uh, I got a battery. It's dying down over yeah. here, actually. <laughs> in that case, let me introduce my first guest. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> Don't say anything about the mouse. I won't say nothing about the mouse. It's between you and me. <laughs> no, no one will ever know. No one has to know. No one has to know. No one has to know about the mouse. No has to know. What's happening? <laughs> the mouse. <laughs> oh, this is the best, literally the best show you ever did. <laughs> I think you and I both know that's not true. It was pretty good, though. Yeah, it was it pretty was good. good. It was. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> do, do this. Do this expression. How, how, how was that? Yeah, that's pretty good. I can always tell when it's you, Chloe Banderas because you're wearing your hat. That's or, right. as they say in Spanish, sombrero. That's right. I also have a sexy neckerchief. <laughs> have you ever run from the bulls? I've, I chased Dennis Rodman for a couple of years. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> but that, 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 that count? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then Scotty Pippen, he won't call me back. But he, uh, I was... That's Scotty Pippen. Let me ask you, what's yeah. Rodman up to? You don't see much of him these you days. You don't see much of him. Let's see. He married Carmen Electra. And then he put on a dress, and then he put, wore some makeup. Well, no, 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 that's Dave Navarro oh, you're right, talking right, right, about. Right. Eh? So I get them all confused up in my Rolodex of common Electra's exes. Well, well, let me ask you, though. Do you think, you think Dave Navarro would have done well in the Chicago Bulls? Oh, he's so little. Yes, he's I so know, but... little and guapo. <laughs> 
be a great distraction. They could send him out and say, like, Scotty Pippa, you go left. And everybody would be like, who's that handsome Chicago Bill there? And they'd be like, yes, hey. who's this one with the no shirt and uh, some beautiful tattoos? No, you got you got to wear a shirt. The NBA rules clearly state you got to wear a shirt. Uh, right, and perhaps a neckerchief. <laughs> Why do you sing neckerchief like that? Why why you just say neckerchief? You have to go neckerchief. See how good it feels. <laughs> you know what the weird thing is? The minute I did it, I started to you enjoy feel it. A little bit better. Uh, can I sing it again? <laughs> neckerchief. Neckerchief. <laughs> neckerchief. You are going to get an endorsement deal with neckerchief. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know they were a company. Yeah. I, I, oh, they're huge. Back where I come from, they're huge. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. They're, where, where do you come from again? You know, Barcelona. Oh, ba Barcelona, yeah. Oh, you sing that Barcelona as well? Let me yeah. sing that. Barcelona. Well, no reason to humiliate me. That was beautiful, yes. <laughs> I wasn't humiliating. No, I was, was joining in with you your... You were hot-dogging a little bit, yeah. No, no, I, yeah. I was joining in with the good-natured high jinx no, of my Spanish friend. You were like an angel, and you were showing off a little bit. <laughs> well, a little bit. I, I went a bit Mariah. Yeah, poquito. A little Mariah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, look at this guy. So, you think you can Craig? <laughs> Camino CBS. So you think you can Craig? <laughs> you should crack it tonight then. <laughs> what kind of underwear do you wear, uh, Chloe Banderas? It's Chloe Banderas tonight, I can tell by the hat. See, si, see, si, you can tell by the sombrero that I'm wearing, it's me. Yeah. Yes, I like to wear something that's breathable. <laughs> you like to wear something that's washable? Breathable. Oh, breathable. I'm no. sorry, I have a great deal of difficulty so, with your accent. No, no, that's okay, but that's so I usually wear like live animal fur because the animal's still breathing. <laughs> so, you like to wear live animals? Uh, yeah. Just a, a couple of squirrels to make sure they're still breathing so I'm breathable down there. <laughs> Is that legal to put live animals in your pants? In this country? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a small but underground group of us. You, I can get you a membership. Is that that Richard Gere thing? That's... <laughs> oh, hey! Whoa! I, I say frio! I, I say frio! I, I, I thought that was just an urban legend. I say frio! That crossed the line and beside it was Rod Stewart. <laughs> Rod Stewart, man, I met Rod Stewart. He doesn't have anything going on. That, well, he might actually. Just a whole bunch of squirrels. Yeah, it might, it might about. Have been that. Yeah, no. it, I feel bad for these woodland creatures out of their natural habitat, surrounded by. It's a good life for them. You Is know? it? Yes. It gives them. It gives them a sense of purpose. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Instead of aimlessly wandering around a forest gathering nuts. That's right. I will let be that wandering one... around nuts gathering a forest. That's right. <laughs> I was going to let that sit there, but you wrapped it up nicely. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Would you uh, care to take us to the commercial break? This is my favorite part of the show. The first break. <laughs> Hit me with some of that hot Spanish mouth organ. Craig, more Philip Larkin. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> right? Say. <laughs> uh, 
¿Sí? ¿O oh, what it's time for? Yeah. Is it the time when it's time? Yeah, yeah. Do, do, do the thing. You know, when you say, what the, I'll, are you ready? I'll say yeah. what time is it, and then you tell us. Es la hora. Right, okay. De emails and tweets. No. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Just do the jingle. from Kim in Nags Head, North Carolina. You ever been to North, you ever been to North Carolina there, uh, Chloe? Oh, si, Tar Heels, me gusta. <laughs> uh, hi, Craig and Jeff, probably means Chloe. People uh, never take their shoes off when they come to my house. Is it too obnoxious to put up a sign? Yes! <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Take your shoes off when you, I suppose you've got carpets. <laughs> Do you take your shoes off when you go into somebody's house there, uh, Chloe? Unless their house is a Japanese restaurant, no. <laughs> Do you remember that scene in that movie where the mafia guy, uh, uh, Donnie Brasco, Don and he goes to the Japanese restaurant and he's wearing a wire in Donnie, his boot? Donnie, his boot. And he's oh. saying, oh, the intrigue. Yeah. Juani Depp. That, that's, that's Johnny Depp. He can make anything interesting. Oh, Juani Depp. Except, would make ex anything except the Rum Diaries interesting. Well, no. <laughs> Except the rum diaries and chocolat. Oh, how do you pronounce that? What? How do you say that word? Chocolat. It's a French word for chocolate. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> those, those French are crazy. The oh, word. they are. They've got a border very close to Barcelona. Do you ever go up there to France? And, oh, uh, sometimes we kind of round up there. We go to the, uh, the see the can can. See the can can. <laughs> Uh, that, right. <laughs> we get in a time machine and we go see the can can. <laughs> yeah, right. This is from Patrick in Reno, Nevada. You ever heard of Reno, Nevada? It's a very exciting town, just to the north. A lot of, a lot of good people live there. Take crystal meth. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there was a TV show about it that was very defamatory. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that Reno 9? Well, there was an actor on that used to wear yeah. shorts, so I didn't care for him. What was I don't like that guy. <laughs> I don't like that guy. I think he went missing. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I think happened. I think he went on a spree. <laughs> oh, he went on. Oh, he went on a crime spree. Well, just... sort of a crime spree. He he went on a on a sort of uh, dry humping spree. Dry humping spree. Yeah. Yes. He 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 was he started dry humping celebrities. He didn't know. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I hope he got Dave Navarro. <laughs> The thing, that's what got him into trouble because Dave Navarro was so oiled up oh, that no. the actor who you wore the shorts, I can't remember his name, he no rubbed up can. against Dave no Navarro, can. flew off him and crashed into Dennis Rodman. <laughs> oh, it's a tragedy. But he was just a, he was a character actor. Who cares? Here's the interesting thing about him. He, he was a character actor, but he was handsome in an mm. odd way. <laughs> yeah, he could drop 15 pounds for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say. <laughs> what was that letter about? Uh, it's from uh, Patrick, uh, who says, uh, Dear Craig, and Chloe actually says Chloe. Look, you're, you're getting your own mail now. Uh, Dear Craig, uh, I eat candy at work all day, and I'm too tired to cook a real dinner when I get home. Should I be concerned about my health, or does this fall under my youthful 20s? You ass. <laughs> You eat too much candy in your 20s? When I was in my 20s, I was doing Class A narcotics! <laughs> Not that I'm advocating that. That's a terrible way to live. I, it, it damn near killed me. <laughs> See me <I'm> scared. <laughs> I think I just turned everything into a PSA there, do you? Yeah, you did. Yeah? You did. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> the more you know. Would you ever do, what would you do a PSA for if they asked you? For me, probably about, be careful with your neckerchief. <laughs> like, if you're leaning over to blow out some candles. Oh, yeah. It could catch fire. Yeah. Or, like the famous dancer Isadora Duncan, My who wore a big, long neckerchief, got in a convertible car, it got caught in the wheel and strangled her. Yes, they still have her head on display. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it was a terrible grisly end. Horrible. But yeah. we all still talk about it, so better to be talked about. <laughs> Didn't get any of that. Something. 
<laughs> Is that what you said? I said, I was quoting Oscar Wilde. I said, it's better to be talked about. <laughs> but wait, Oscar Wilde was Irish. He wouldn't say, talk like that. <laughs> That's the best Irish accent I can do. I don't know that. See, here's the thing about Oscar Wilde. I know what you're thinking. Craig, when will you get back to Philip Larkin? In a while. But... <laughs> Oscar Wilde. Oh, he dipped his balls in clouds. Yeah, oh, he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the time. All the time. Now, I think he dipped his in absinthe. That's what. Yeah. They say, wait, every time uh, you look up in Ireland, that's Oscar Wilde dipping his balls in a cloud. <laughs> that's what makes rainbows. That's what makes rainbows? <laughs> yeah, that's in Ireland. No, I did not. I, yeah. That's what makes rainbows. It's Oscar Wilde dipping his balls in a cloud. That's you. That's that's right. Do you know what that makes me think? That makes me go... Yeah, I know. I agree with you. What does that mean? Well, we've uh, completely out of time. I hope that's helped uh, anyone. Uh, 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 we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show where tonight it's the big Philip Larkin special. <laughs> Chihuahua. <laughs> ah, that was one of his best works, wasn't it, Philip oh, Larkin? Yeah. Ay, Chihuahua. Ay, Chihuahua. <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, and we're going to do after that cat singing yee ha is going to be an anticlimax, isn't it? <laughs> yes, uh, this is anticlimax part of the show. It's okay. <laughs> you know, about it, the whole show is kind of an anti-climax, isn't it? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say it, not so. It was a thrill a minute. <laughs> I like you when you talk like that. I can't help it. It's the only way it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it would be great to hear you. I, I don't know Call why I'm... You? I'm doing, you? Yeah, I'm doing Transylvanian. Uh, that's <laughs> my... <laughs> it sounds like you got a reboot. Uh, a what? A reboot. Oh, reboot. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said something rude. By the way, I'm working on impressions of other robots. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. What you got? Hey, I'm Artudito. <laughs> oh, that one that was in Buck Rogers. Beedle, beedle, Buck Rogers. Beedle, that one. Beedle, 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 beedle. Yes! It's like we're there. <laughs> Check out this one. Danger William Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk that. I'm worried about my hair tonight. It's feeling very springy. Oh, no, no. Don't. Please, don't worry. You look amazing. Uh, I, I'm worried about it. This is a big show for me tonight. This is show 1,422. <laughs> wow. Wow. And there are six to eight good ones in there. I think you'd be very kind. There was one, one or two good ones. Yeah, and then... one or two. Right out of the gate. <laughs> no, the, the first shows were very bad. Really? Let's go to a flashback of you doing it right now. Okay. Okay, here they Craig Ferguson. You never heard of this guy. He used to be Drew Carey's friend. Okay. All right, and then I, and then I come out and I and I go like this. Ho ho, cheeky monkeys. Oh, that's right. You used to say that. I used to say cheeky monkeys. Oh, cheeky all the time. monkeys. Yeah. What happened to them? What I, happened to you? What I, happened to the little cheeky monkey inside of you? They died. Oh, no. Yeah, the cheeky monkeys. They got a little too cheeky one night, and I. I had to take care of them. Cheeky monkey, if you kill a grown up cheeky monkey, will rip your face off. I would, I yeah. yeah. You got monkeys to be... aren't cheeky at all. They're oh, no. dangerous. Oh, that's what they are. Yeah. Dangerous. You know, they're like bears. They look cuddly. You go up and try and hug them, and they go crazy. Right. That's why I don't go to those bars anymore. No, I don't. <laughs> They are adorable, though, with their plaid shirts oh, and their beards. Plaid and their, oh, the plaid and all the lumberjacking. That yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you hug them, you feel their hair crinkling in their back. <laughs> Whoa, that was really specific. <laughs> yeah. That was... Yeah, I, really, that was, I really went to a very was, specific area. That was eerily specific. You're doing that singing thing again. Yeah, I can't help it, you know. It's exciting. <laughs> What's so exciting about yes, I'm not going to, I'm leaving the show for a while. You're leaving the show for a yeah, while? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes, your regular yeah. personality is back tomorrow. Yes. I'm, go I'm going on tour as, uh, I'm the understudy for Celine Dion. <laughs> 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 well, 
That's ridiculous. You don't look anything like a Canadian. <laughs> You'd be surprised. No, I... From, from the cheap seats, I kind of do. I say, like, A. A, my heart goes out to you, A. No, it's my heart goes out. And you have to do, the, you have to do that thing, you know. Okay, I can watch. Me do it. Here, look. My heart goes out to you, A. Well, Lady Celine Dion, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. What do you think, Chloe? You think they, uh, the, the, that was uh, for aliens, the Stonehenge? Oh, my goodness. I think it was, I think it was just like they was, they was playing Jenga for giants. <laughs> That was a lot of work to get to Jenga for Giants right there, buddy. You know I have an endorsement deal with them. I have to mention them in any orgy or druid sentence I say. <laughs> you have an endorsement deal with Jenga? <laughs> Maybe not after tonight, but yes. <laughs> hey, yeah. Did, did, yeah, yeah. You notice, did you notice yeah, my see. hair when I came out? I, need, I should have been wearing a hat like you, and then my hair wouldn't have been so... Oh. I thought you looked like if Alf Alpha grew up to be some old kind of sexy guy. <laughs> and they, and they like the tales have called like Elf Night of Alpha of the Night. No, I didn't get the last bit there. Did you get the last bit? Alfalfa of the you Night. You know, like a show about Alfalfa that runs on Cinemax. <laughs> you like sexy Alfalfa? Oh, that's right. Sexy Alf little rascals. That's all the rascal. If that rascal is not so little. <laughs> <laughs> you always like singing at the end to make things sexy, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes it makes something that does not work start to work. I know exactly what you mean. Si, <laughs> claro, si, <de> claro. <sighs> oh, good times. Lisa's nice. I saw you looking at oh, her. Oh, she's so delicioso, yes. <laughs> No, she's not, actually. She's Irish. Oh! Ah. That's the way I pronounce that. You, th that's the way you know, pronounce Irish? Yes. Yeah, you also? I can't th can form the words in my mouth! Oh! <laughs> well, would you, uh... This is the part where we come back in two. I am two dositos. If you're just joining us, we've had a terrible time so far. My hair went up, it went down. That's about it. <laughs> How's it now? Is it, it feels like it's staying put. Is it all right? Well, hang on, I'll just check my downstairs. <laughs> no, that's still flapping around. The erotic adventures of Alfalfa. The erotic adventures of Alfalfa. <laughs> Starring me. I'm going to talk like this for the rest of the show. We are going to make a mid-level fortune. That's absolutely right. Yeah. If I talk like this all the time... Is that different from how you normally do? Uh, I don't normally talk like this. I talk mostly like something a little different to this. I can't tell the difference. That's because you're a foreigner. Which means you're ghastly and unpleasant. Yes, I'm so uncouth. No, I didn't understand any of that. What time is it, Chloe Banderas? It's time to do the emails and tweets. Exactly so! How do they say? in uh, Kamloops in British Columbia. That's in Canada. You ever, you ever been up there? Uh, oh, of course you're Canadian, aren't you? Uh, oh, claro que si. Sí. Kamloops is a, oh, that's a magnificent part of where the bears go. Uh, well, the guy with the crinkly hair under the shirt. <laughs> when you hug the yeah, yeah. bears oh, and crinkle, they feel crinkle, the crinkly crinkle, hair. Crinkle, yeah. crinkle. <laughs> Look, if it's any consolation to you, I don't know what's going on either. 
We'll get through it. Soon your cable will be repaired and we'll never have to see each other again. Dear Craig and uh, Chloe Banderas, my ten-year-old son wants to take up ice hockey. Well, he's Canadian. Uh, as his mother, I'm concerned about concussions and broken teeth. How can I convince him to choose a safer sport? <laughs> you can't. That's awful. You can't persuade a ten-year-old Canadian boy that wants to play ice hockey not to play ice hockey. That's like the reverse of Billy Elliot. <laughs> right? That's right. Next thing you know, he turns to curling. Yeah, he turns to curling and then yeah. from... You know what? Curling's the gateway sport to heroin. Yeah. That's true. People say they, they, they get the Eating. curlings and they throw it in the ice and then they have to wait for a long time so they yeah. turn to drugs. <laughs> they take heroin and then they go up and swim. The stone eventually comes up and they all go... <sighs> heroin is the only way that curling makes sense. That's not a very nice thing to say on St. Andrew's Day. <laughs> oh, but he's not. Who is the patron saint of Canada? Um, St. Uh, Bob. Trick question. <laughs> Celine Dion. It, who is the saint? C Celine Dion is the yeah. patron saint of yeah. Canada? I did not, I did not right. know that. Yeah. Only since, like, the mid-90s. <laughs> oh, right. No, probably when that big movie came out, when our heart went on. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Did you like that movie? Oh, my goodness gracious. I love a young, a yummy Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I like. I, I liked her in that movie when she, they're in the car and they're having sex, and she suddenly puts her hand on the car with the, the, in the window like that. What, what is this a feature film that was in theaters? <laughs> no, it's a video I rented. Anyway, look. This is from Donnie in Geneva in New York. You ever been to Geneva, New York, or even Geneva, Switzerland? Oh, magnificent! Or the tiny watches. <laughs> Dear Craig and Chloe Banderas, have you ever considered the big cash prize you offered to guests would seem even bigger if it were denominated in coins? Yeah, I thought about it. <laughs> it's a great idea. Let me write it down and then at the end of the show I'll burn it. Uh, this is from Greg in Salisbury in Maryland. You ever been to Salisbury uh, there in Maryland? Oh, yes. Come for the Salisbury, stay for the steak. <laughs> Personally, when I'm in Maryland, I go for the crabs. Ah. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. In my pants. Uh, 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 all right. Dear, dear Craig and Chloe Banderas, I'm studying for my SATs. I'll be doing poorly on practice questions. What would be a good resource for me to enhance my vocabulary? Okay, go to at some point, uh, some place in your school, there might be a machine that looks something like a, like a kind of, sort of a little bit like this, uh, but a little bit larger and probably more modern with a screen on it. It's called a computer. And <clears throat> there's something on there, there's something on there called the internet. And you can look... Crikey. Oh. That'll help you with the SATs right now. Oh, claro que si. Sí. You can use the online thesaurus. Online what? The online thesaurus. <laughs> yeah, use that. The online ha ha ha. All right, this is from uh, Noah and uh, Salinas in uh, California. Salinas. It might be Salinas, Salinas. I don't know. It's like Vagina, Vagina. I don't really know. <laughs> There's no Vagina. You don't say, oh, what a lovely Vagina. Mind you, you probably don't say, oh, what a lovely Vagina either. Uh, you probably, you try not to mention it. When you get to that point, the talking's done. I think, really. Yeah. Or like, if you're meeting the Queen, you might say that. Oh, if you met yeah. the Queen, if you met the Queen at a nude beach, you went, well, good yeah. day to you, Your Majesty. <laughs> and wh while I'm bowing, may I just say, what a fabulous royal vagina you have. <laughs> Why, good day to you. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's been in the family for over five years. <laughs> originally put there by Elizabeth the First. Oh, we out of time? Oh, that's a shame. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? 
you ever think about getting stuffed before you came as a skeleton? That would have been so great if they could have mummified me. Yeah, that would have been so nice. Are you into taxidermy? No. Because I, I can get you Louis Anderson's foot. I know I, I know Louis I got... Louis Anderson's who, using his feet. You can't have... You can't get Louis Anderson's feet. No, no. I know a guy. Who knows that guy? <laughs> you made yourself laugh there, didn't no, you? No, I was passing... I was passing wind. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna you're gonna go back to your normal Jeff Peterson personality tomorrow for a couple of days, aren't you? Yeah, thank God I'm going. Um, the reboot is complete. All right. Yeah. Well, it's been lovely having you here. Come back and join us soon, won't you? Thanks. Now I'm going to power down. Have you seen me power down before? <laughs> Let's say no. It goes like this. Power down. We so sexy alfalfa. I love you. I think, I think you're making this up as you go along. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. So let me get this straight, then. You're not Jeff tonight again. The, you're, you're, it's Chloe, but you're Chloe Banderas. Yes, I don't know. He's so easy to understand. I am the least famous Banderas. You know that. Yes, yes, I know yeah. that. I know yeah. all that thing yeah. about you're the least See. famous of the Banderas. But wh how, how come sometimes your personality changes to Chloe Banderas when you're normally Jeff. This, here's the thing about the technology that runs Jeff. This was the same technology that runs the Apple IIe. <laughs> okay? That's like not the most advanced computer in the world, you know? <laughs> I don't... So you're telling me you're not that advanced a computer? No, no. Do you see that, like, the Terminator, those guys? Yes. Yeah, that, I'm not like that. Right. I'm like a... I'm like a, maybe like a two steps down from a TiVo machine. <laughs> Somewhere between a TiVo and one of those real dolls that you have sex with. So, is it technically possible then for you to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> Did you, was that you having sex just there? No, you sometimes you, sometimes you, you, the Christmas spirit was feeling inside of me. Oh. And I, I make a, some wind. Yes. <laughs> you made some? Yes. What? No, Craig, I cannot make a romance like a regular person, no. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can't, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just explaining to people who don't understand yeah. the comedy accents. Yeah, yes, they, uh, You can't, and, but if you don't understand the comedy accent, you've come to the wrong. Hey, caramba. Sure. This is not, this is not the show for you. Yeah, no, it's not the show for you, no. that's what he's saying. Uh, if you, if you don't he like... He said this is not the show for you, is what he said. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you, are you translating me? I translate for you! Ay caramba! So, no, between say. the two of us, everyone in America will soon be yeah, able to say, understand say. us. We should put on a Christmas album together! Yes! we put on a Christmas album together, yes. it'll be Chloe Banderas and her... Uh, and friends! And friends? Yes! <laughs> Chloe Banderas and friends! Will I be one of your friends? Mm, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Some, sometimes Most likely, you yes. sound a little bit like Dan Aykroyd in that Coneheads movie. Do you remember that movie? Oh, yeah. Who forget? That's one of the great, great <laughs> movies. Man, <laughs> great that movie ever sucks, forget that one? That's, that's a, right. That's a terrible movie. I've been in some bad movies, but nothing as no, bad as that. No, Chris, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> don't ever, don't you ever say that. <laughs> what about that? What about the big teeth? I like this one. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That's a nice side. one. I like that guy. You were so young in that one. <laughs> ah, it, it was a long time ago. You were so young and just all fresh face and scrubbed and jumping around saying, I'm going to change everybody hairdos. You didn't see the movie, did you? I, I skimmed the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. You read the Sherlock Holmes, do you, uh, Jeff? Ah, uh, Craig, see. Oh, nice. it's not Jeff tonight, it's Chloe Banderas, your alter ego who's sometimes here with yeah. Jeff's... See, it's Chloe Banderas! Chloe Banderas, yes! The right. least famous of Antonio Banderas's brothers. <laughs> really? Who are the more famous brothers of Antonio Banderas that I perhaps should know and don't? Mario. Mario Banderas? It's another one. Uh -huh. Y... Guillermo? Guillermo. And then there's one that's just called Rick. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> then, of course, uh, you know, the one from the motion picture, Pusa Boots. That's Antonio. That's Antonio Banderas, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, the other brothers, yeah. then, do you all, are you like uh, the Jacksons? Do you all, like, did you perform? By that, by that do you mean unemployed, looking for jobs? <laughs> It, uh, by, by the Jackson, do you mean trying to wring every penny out of the famous one? Yes. <laughs> then we... Uh, yeah, we that's, are, probably, that's probably enough. I'm, I'm exactly glad I don't really like want that. to know anything about your family. And we are exactly like that, Craig. Right, OK. <laughs> do you ever read the Sherlock Holmes? Do you enjoy I this? do, I do. When I read them, it gives me a battle or a boner. <laughs> You see what he did there? He used the word Rathbone and turned it into a double entendre containing boner. <laughs> Is that acceptable on the CBS network? <laughs> We're gonna find out when this airs. Yeah. <laughs> you mean when it airs? Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> December the 19th of Christmas week. <laughs> 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 Thank you for your support, Cloney Banderas. And uh, can you take us to the commercial break then? Now it's Feliz Navidad, go to the break. Of course, it's Monday, the start of Christmas week. It's the official lighting of the CBS Christmas tree. Are you ready, Chloe Banderas? See. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> can see that big tree there. What's it called? Uh, it's a third of the Rockefeller's place. <laughs> I didn't get any of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Something about Rockefeller's That's place? That's right. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what it is. A magnificent tree. Not as good as the one in the Grove, Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. The Grove, Los Angeles has an excellent tree and many products are lovely and available there. <laughs> Wait, Craig, I did not know that. Do you work for them now? I'm trying to. Oh, good for you. No, I quite like to work at the Grove in Los Angeles. That because they used to shoot episodes of Entourage there. Oh Me yes. Remember that show Entourage? Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, that was great. That yeah. that really showed LA the way it really is. Yeah. Cla <laughs> so classy. So it was very well. There was always always girls walking around with bikinis and high heels, which is a look that f favored often by people in fiction. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you try getting any woman to wear a bikini and high heels in your own life, and you'll find out that won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. Have you ever seen a woman in real life wearing a bikini and high heels? Ah, uh, yeah, but that was, uh, that was uh, you know, where sometimes we go down to Ciudad Juarez. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said something about Juarez. That's right. We go down, sometimes we're just taking a show south of the border, you know. <laughs> Is that code for something? Yeah, we go down and we buy cheap prescription pills. <laughs> and then, Sounds like a good time, I bet. Yeah, right. And then we just see, you know, like a live sex show. It's a good time, it's a good time. So what you're saying, Anna, is for a good time, get yourself south of the border yeah. on some uh, cheap medication and go and see some live sex shows. Yes, that, what you just said, is, is literally word for word the new logo of Mexico tourism. <laughs> <laughs> we, if, that entire, that entire sentence. Oh, right. That, is, that, is, that yeah. must be very difficult to get all that on a stuffed donkey. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> OK. You'd be surprised. Yeah, I would be surprised, yeah. but not at a live sex show. I went to one of them once in Amsterdam, you know, just to see. Yeah, well, no, no, please. Well, no, I didn't I go do to not. participate. No, I, I didn't go like, oh, I'm going to a live sex show. I hope they let me join in. <laughs> but they did. <laughs> I was, I was, I did the warm up for a sex show one time for a while. A warm up for yeah, a sex show? Just the audience warm up, you know. Get everybody ready? Yeah, get everybody ready for the All thing. All right, yeah. <laughs> you know, get the bananas and the yeah, ping pong balls. Yeah, you just throw candy, you keep yeah. the energy up. It's a good job. <laughs> well, what time is it, Chloe Banderas? It's time for the emails and tweets. The emails and tweets. You know that that to read them, he reads them from the desk. <laughs> yeah! 
Cram yourself into a stupor. Don't be missed up by the pooper. Stab yourself with a funky grouper. Freak your body, mama, cause you know it's super. Super creepy. Super creep. Super tweet time. Tweet that creep. Yes, move. This is from Tara in Jacksonville, Florida. Ever been to Jacksonville, Florida? Do you, do you like it down there? You got a little place there you like to go swimming, get naked, beach? Oh, we love to go down there for theater season, yeah. <laughs> Why do you say we? Who are we? Who's the we and we? <laughs> Me and a couple of other robot skeletons <laughs> have what's called like kind of like a red hat society. Red? <laughs> do, yes. A red hat society? We just, we just gonna live. <laughs> we just, we just want to get out there before our, before our uh, batteries die, and you know, and then have to be replaced. That's by right. Batteries, before our yeah. chips give out, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, Tara and Jacksonville, Florida says, dear Craig and Chloe Banderas, I was wondering if either of you two have an arch nemesis, and who is it? Oh well, uh, for me. <laughs> Chloe, do you have an arch nemesis? I don't know. I'm not sure what the guy who usually does this voice thinks about me. So <laughs> maybe that guy. I, I, don't, don't, know. I don't know what you're talking about. I suspect he hates your guts, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Trent, Baltimore, Maryland. Ever been to Baltimore? Oh, so beautiful. Oh, isn't it great? It's they set wonderful. the wire there. The wire was set. I love oh, that through the wire. It was hilarious. That wire was so funny. Oh, I was so, you know, I was so funny. And are you thinking of the same wire that everybody else saw? Yeah, the one about the drug dealers and the life of crime on Did the beach. That was beach so beach. funny to you. But parts of it, yeah. yeah. You know the the parts where things happened that were funny. Wasn't I that funny? That, was I always it? thought that show was gonna be about marionettes. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing. Hey, who was that band that had all the, the no strings? Who were they called? Oh, those guys are great. The no strings yeah. attached. That's um, uh, the Backstreet Boys. Uh, oh. no, the Backstreet Boys. It might have been the Backstreet Boys. It might have boys been the... Boys to men. Oh. Backdoor gents. No, Venti. No. Backdoor gents. <laughs> Dad, wait a second. <laughs> Backdoor gents is your side project you're working on, I think. <laughs> yeah, it might be, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm right. starting a band, as you know. Called and the, they're called the Backdoor, the backdoor gents. gents. And we, we, yeah, and we'd like you to be our lead singer. Oh, I love it. That sounds a good time. I could bring in some of my red hats. Yeah. Yeah. That that would be great. Backdoor gents featuring red hat robots. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a Christmas party right there. <laughs> We're out of time, but I just want to show you a picture of a tit. <laughs> you can't touch me, arch nemesis. It was a Ooh -la -la. <laughs> an actual picture of a Ooh -la -la. right there. Do you like uh, the bird watching there, Chloe? Oh, who does it? It's so fun. <laughs> See, that right there, that is a positive, helpful appliance. <laughs> Wait a second, am I an appliance? Well, in a way, yeah. Oh, you... no, I just got too much perspective on myself. <laughs> Yeah, you, you oh, don't... No, I'm becoming self-aware. No, 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 no. This we don't help. need any self-aware. We don't need self-aware robots. And what you don't need if you work in this... Crocky. ...basement is perspective. That's Trust right. me. <laughs> We're going to take out. a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. the first show of Christmas week and my first my first guest uh, of this week uh, is a TV icon who is not a gay skeleton robot uh, with a personality disorder Lo but siento. actually he might be <laughs> he's something a like that no no I... hey Felice Navidad over there I love him Gra oh you like Chloe oh, Banderas come on yeah gracias <laughs> What did he say? Grazia? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if that's really Spanish or just no, some who kind knows of what he's saying. joke Spanish invented by some uppity comedian. I love to say, has anybody love... helped you in your career? In not, your not a single one. No. Not, e <laughs> not even the robot. Not even that. Not piece of crap over there. Right? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> he doesn't like that. No, so I know. I, 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 I was only kidding. Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. yeah of course. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Ho, ho, ho. 
That's a pretty classy start to the week, wasn't it? Regis and the Goo Goo Dolls. I mean, right there, how are you going to, how are you going to get better than that? It's like Christmas already came. <laughs> what he said was, it's like Christmas already came. <laughs> Understand me, please, please. Do you know what? I think you'd have done well in the Rat Pack. We should start a new Rat Pack. Well, me, you, Regis. See, si, you, you, me, Regis. That's what I said. That's right. Yeah. And we go out and we make movies like Oceans 14, 15, 16. Yeah, yeah. 17. Well, we'll, make, we'll make movies and we'll, we'll go to Vegas and get drunk oh, with, we'll, with some dames. We'll throw the crap around. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we'll be throw the throwing... crap around? What, you mean like chimpanzees or something? <laughs> That, that actually was what I meant. He's an old guy. Why, well, you're, you're telling me the Rat Pack actually threw feces at each other? <laughs> I'm just saying the one that we start, it may happen because, you know, we're getting up there. <laughs> well, wait, though. No. I mean, it's going to be hard because you have no digestive system, so... The... No, that's exactly right. Plus, you know, I set off metal detectors and stuff, so... <laughs> Well, you set off metal detectors so you can't throw the crap around. <laughs> I don't know, I can't get, follow this kind of back, comedy who, logic. Which, we, who is going to be our Joey Bishop? Oh, well, not me. Yeah, not me. I'm afraid that probably is my job, isn't it? Yeah. I'm well. the least famous one. No, 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 I think I'm probably the least famous one, but we can get someone less famous than... It's going to be hard, though. Yeah, less famous than, <laughs> less famous than you? Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Hey, you know, yeah. you know the thing about being famous? What's that? I don't know. Do you know a thing about being famous? I guess I, I don't. No, I will, we should ask Regis. Yeah, Regis. Oh, that, oh, that guy. Yeah, that oh, guy. Those he's guys. Famous. You, know, and you know in his book, he doesn't mention you or me at all. Really? You skimmed it for your name? I didn't skim it. I read the whole damn thing. <laughs> really? You know no, what they call no, that picture? No, I didn't. I didn't that, read it. It's Regis' book about his life. That picture on the back is... <laughs> That picture on the back is called Jazz Hands. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what that's called. It's called All right. Yeah, we're out of time. You've got to say, say goodnight and Merry Christmas. Good night and Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. My first guest tonight is a very funny man. Thank God. <laughs> a good friend of the show, and he's got great legs. Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. I, I just know for a fact that I'm going to wake up tonight and think, did I rub butts with Craig in a sort of like a backwards booty quake? <laughs> and I just don't know how, I just, I'm just i going to have mixed feelings about it, I think. No, no, I think you'll wake up tonight hot, sweaty, and, and remember our butt rubbing. Yeah. And then the thing we did there. Because it wasn't fake, there was actual contact. There. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I felt it. Yeah. And may I say, you do have a very firm arrangement. What I think was all... <laughs> Was other was my butt was rubbing against yours. Uh, one of your cheeks is very hard, and the other one not so hard. That's, and you know it's weird. There's no phone back there. That's just that's just that's me. Just, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good times. Hey. <laughs> uh, here's the thing about Leap Day. Oh yeah. Hi Tom. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> here's what I don't believe about Leap Day. Okay. How? Okay. Did they when they first figured out? that it doesn't add up right. Right. Did somebody say, like, here's what I'm going to do. It's February 29th. I'm going to leave some breadcrumbs on today, and then a, year, then a year from now, we'll come back and see if they're still there. No, because they're gone. The day disappeared. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. There's no way... What I'm saying is there's no way to tell... <laughs> There's no physical way to tell that the year is any longer. Man, to... that is insane you thought of that. <laughs> insane like a fox. Yeah. Have you ever seen an insane fox? Uh, Have you ever seen any woodland creature you thought was mentally challenged? Like, <laughs> like maybe not an insane fox, but maybe a bipolar badger what or was, something like that. What was the voice that you did in Winnie the Pooh? Uh, owl. There you go. I thought that one was pretty weird. Well, no, yeah. come on. That was, uh, was like talking like this. It was not, it was not insane. Plus, an owl's not a woodland creature. It's a bird. <laughs> yeah, a woodland bird, though, don't you think? Well, you get, yeah. owl, you get owls out on the prairie. 
Right. They, but there must be there must be insane animals, right? I think I think it's almost certainly and, true. And we don't flamingos, even know. all flamingos are insane. <laughs> yeah, but they're not. You can't tell because they're not loners. You that's can usually true, only that's tell. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're all together, so, so yeah, they exactly. validate each other. Exactly. Yeah. It seems like what they basically are is they're just a, a group of colorful serial killers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just wandering yeah, around because you know the, the noise they make that kind of. Ah, Oh, is that the noise they make? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like Hannibal Lecter! Yeah. That's the noise That's they make! It. Yes! <laughs> they go that They've been talking about the screaming of yeah, the lions. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got close to them and you could hear them going, right. Put the lotion in a basket. Yeah. <laughs> Put the lotion in a basket. When was the last time you smelled a flamingo really up close? Oh, now, we talk about this on the show. Jeff and I have been talking about it because fling flamingos smell awful, don't they? Absolutely atrocious. They're terrible, yeah. Terrible. Oh, I mean, we've terrible. been to the LA Zoo, you go there, it's a fantastic zoo, they've got all the things. They, but ah, ah, those geniuses at the zoo have a kettle corn stand right next to the flamingos. Yes, that's And they mistake. try to waft you. No. They try to waft over to cover up, but the fact is you can still smell. No, that's the thing. When, now when I right. smell flamingo, I get hungry. Right. <laughs> Better name, if you had discovered a flamingos in the wild yeah. and smelled them, I don't think you would say, let's call these flamingos. flamingos. No, 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 you wouldn't. You, you would, would say, ah, ah, like, ah like, uh, clip packs or something. Yeah, yeah. Nut munchers. <laughs> a flock or whatever. A flock know. of nut munchers? I don't know, something sweaty. I love that song they did. What was that? Flock of nut munchers? <laughs> What was that song? Uh, I, uh, I ran. ran. I, I ran. ran. But I, Iran is a oh, crazy, no, it's, it's a yeah. hot button subject. We don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, don't talk about Iran. Now. Let's not talk about Iran. Some people don't like it. Well, Even something. in the flock of seagull sense. And I don't know what the other sense is because I don't keep up on politics. Do you know what's going on over there? I'm just a pretty one that talks to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice thing. I don't keep up on. I, I like one of the fun things about Twitter is you get to hear all the things that you're not paying attention to. I, I have noticed that on Twitter, I now don't even have attention for tweets. <laughs> I'm like, like I, I get tweets, I'm like, oh, ah, ah, go to hell. Uh, yeah, I don't even read it. I'm going to spend the next point three seconds reading this. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. yeah but that's it's really the only place I get my news is from your tweets. <laughs> pretty much. Wow, oh, that's bad. That's yeah. pretty bad shape. Oh, it's really, really yeah. sorry state. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know where I get my news? Where is that? Uh, from commercials. That, see, that would be pretty amazing good because segment. now I'm going to go to a commercial break. So yeah, I was like, like a real talk show. I was like, from commercial. Right. I'll take a look at these. You know, like that. Yeah. Like from commercial. Which brings then, me to this. But then there's like a band that starts and it's really exciting. Yeah. And the band goes, <laughs> <laughs> And the camera sweeps across to find Around here, just commercials. <laughs> Danish ladies tonight. Most but, of them. And enough for my taste. <laughs> Have you ever uh, you ever made it with a Danish? <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely. We had a wonderful <laughs> pastisserie uh, that we would go to back in my single days. Oh, me oh, and the pastries. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> man. I, I was, you know <sighs> me. For me, I was I was very you know a very traditional donut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I woke up with a bear claw and a <laughs> chocolate croissant. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're still out of time. So, uh, <laughs> so what do you want? You want the mouth organ? You want the awkward pause? Or you want to go for the big cash prize? Uh, I'm, I always lose the big cash prize. I would like a, a very specific awkward pause. Well, well, how specific? I, I don't know. I feel like uh, you can give me an expert level awkward pause as I'm... Oh, you I'm feel a, you're up for that? I do. All right, then awkward pause with subtext. Yes, please. All right, here's the awkward pause with okay. subtext. I am your father. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, come to me to ask me for money to start mm -hmm. a new business and at the same time come out and tell me you're gay. Right. <laughs> Which is a bit of a problem because I'm not uh, good around that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, or, I got it, I got it. Right. <clears throat> I got it. Break 
take awkward pause for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, here's the, here's the thing. I've become... Oh, you have a note on it. No, 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 okay. no, no. I've actually okay. become so interested in the yeah. story, I'd like to continue. Add one more level to it. Uh, yeah, I'd like to add dialogue. Oh, okay. All right, right. so. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, spit it out, boy! <laughs> Father. Yes? I can't take over the pesticurie. I prefer to bear it with no dialogue. Yeah, like bear with no dialogue. Let's, Let's go, go back to that. Yeah, all right. But my theory holds up that you can't tell how long the year is. <laughs> that holds up. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Am I scaring you? <laughs> scared myself. My first guest tonight is an actor who's in uh, How I Met Your Mother, which season premiere is uh, on Monday, September the 24th on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. You've been working out. <laughs> Quite the contrary, Craig. No, you just did it right there. That's what I would call working I, out. That's I'm actually wearing one of those Resident Evil uh, sort of oh, corsets nice. under this. Yeah, under yeah, yeah. Man Spanks. Man Spanks. Yeah. Spanks. <laughs> Manx, I have a quick question. We have a Secretariat out. We got Jeff. We got the ladies come by. Is this show on anywhere in English also? <laughs> You're not familiar with Catherine Liebel, Sarkin? That's what we're doing here. Oh, I love it. It's a German word. Meaning? Felt insurance. Felt insurance? No, felt insurance is not a German word. Felt insurance. This show has been sponsored by some great felt insurers over the years. So let's. Why would you want to insure oh, okay. felt? You can see the whole audience now on the beautiful new stage. Mm, yeah, yeah, Look at this. Yeah, yeah. I, I have to say, I am rather surprised at the amount of tra attractive people that come I to see too. this show. Yeah, I mean, they, kind of, they always it's kind of, like this? well, no, actually, I mean, most, most of the time, the, and, the, you the, know I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, and cleavage and bronzer, it's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on, on better the women looking, too. White teeth and all kinds of Yeah, stuff. white teeth, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Who knew? In the little cave, the little awful little cave. Well, you couldn't tell. And also, that was uh, the audience that was in there. They were always there. Awful people. There was the same people they every were, night. They, oh, they just they kept. They them lived there. there. It they was a, it was a community of hobos who lived in the old. I, you know, I was I was wondering because you'd go in and they'd be cooking up beans around a big drum, and I couldn't tell if they yeah. Have you ever uh, lived rough on the streets? Have I ever lived rough on this? One, I did, I fell asleep on the street one time. Maybe twice. Oh no, this is like a homeless person story. Uh, let's see, yeah, uh, fell asleep on the street once in Athens. Greece? Yeah, yeah. Really? It was just really Well, that's not, that's, that's not uh, being a hobo, that's backpacking around Europe. You're in a gap year. That's a very different thing from riding the rails. Yeah, I guess. I didn't come up with, I didn't write any great, like, protest songs. Why not? Anything. I didn't do any great hobo, like, Woody Guthrie stuff. Did you, did you go around Europe backpacking, though? I did a little bit. Did you bit. have a voyage of sexual discovery? Pretty much, yeah. I guess, no, I guess that's actually, yeah, that's pretty accurate, yeah. So was it with that so guy over there? Was that? Oh, Rick, long time no see. Rick? I haven't seen you since Athens. I'm kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. yeah, did you like Athens? Uh, it was great. Do you, like, do you like cities that are 105 degrees in the shade? Are we talking Reno? 
Yeah. 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 Everybody's on Vespas. I like that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're European. Look at you. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I, what do you mean, look at me? Why do I look European? You're wearing braces. Uh, they're, they're, we call them suspenders in Those America. Those are suspenders. Yeah, yeah, they're suspenders. Braces have buttons. Is that true? That's exactly true. That's something you look Look it up. Google it. You've changed, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you've changed. Now I know what braces are. Yeah. yeah, since you went to Europe and got all fancy. This is a long time. I don't do anything now. I've got a child. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm I've got two of them. Target. What age oh. is your little one now? Three. Oh, that's the worst. Three. The yeah. worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst. Does he poo? Uh, does yeah, he three poo in a diaper? Wonderful. They just don't show it to you. No, no, he's trained. He's trained? He is trained. How, how, how quickly was he trained? Uh, you know, as soon as piles of candy got involved, much faster. <laughs> You know, there was a whole... He poops piles of candy? Piles of candy. Wow, yeah. you're on a gold uh, mine there, buddy. We found him one day in a cabbage patch, and a unicorn kissed him, and he just poops out candy. It's really great. Uh, That's incredible. No, we, you know, you, you, got, you go quickly from the trying to do the... You know, you read all the books about parenting, and they're like, do this and be supportive and do this. And then at, at, at a certain point, you're just like, here's a racist peanut butter cup. Please do something. <laughs> You know, it, if you take a dump in that little potty, I'll give you this I'll, chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't know, is this a great thing? To, is this like the best life lesson to be taught? Like, yes. Hey. Yeah, it pretty much. It's, a, it's an important I one. I make this, I get candy. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you do something that like, other people approve of, you will sure. be rewarded. But other, other, other people's kids, like, they speak Spanish and they're cool and they do Yes, yoga. Spanish people's kids speak Spanish. <laughs> See? Right. How is that? Yeah, yeah. No, no. My, my, uh, my kids uh, speak Scottish. Is, is there a language? Lang Scot there's a Scottish language. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Gaelic. Yeah. Yeah. Gaelic. Oh, do you eat them a or she should eat them a How are you not a hobbit? Duck <laughs> you! She's too tall. But the, you could so be one, couldn't you? Well, I, I could, except I'm too tall and my feet are smooth. Is there, is there an animated film? Will we ever do animated films without you again? I don't think so. I'm in like all animated movie. movies now. That, I, I'm the, yeah, that's, that's how I make my money. I don't get anything for this, but I... Every, every, literally every time I turn around, you're either like a squirrel or a log or like... A, a log? A, a, I don't remember being a, a log. When you're was like that a, log? A wise old waterfall. Ah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> well, or, you see, people think that a Scottish accent is trustworthy, unlike oh. your sneaky accent that you have. <laughs> yeah. No, my... Yeah, no, so you're... Uh, say, oh, hey, Jeff. Yeah, hey, what's going on, man? How's it going, man? <laughs> Looking good. The fire's nice. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, it's good. It's not too hot for you, the fire? <laughs> no, it's fine. Looks good. Oh, the rhino. That's we have good. to, sit, we we have have to take amazing. a break. We'll take yeah. a break. We'll come right back. We'll talk about some more stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> Crikey. My pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a slang word. Come on, man. He's Jeremy. Right at the end, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Did you really? No, no. I'm fine. All right. Have you ever done that? Have you ever done that, like, by accident? Like, oh, yeah, you sure, gambled sure. and lost? <laughs> 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 Have you ever? Come on, man. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Like, just right there? Did you do yeah, it? Yeah, no, but it was pretty close. Yeah. Real. <laughs> it was real. It was real. It was a squeaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're jerks. Oh. Right, no, no, no. Yeah. What's the thing with the eyes? You're like a squirrel or something. 
Don't do the thing this, with the eyes. You're could, overdoing it. We could do some kind of lightning bug movie. If we made a Scottish Oh, right. Friend. You, you'd be the lightning bug and I'll yeah. be the wise old bridge attendant. <laughs> you shall not cross my bridge till you answer my questions three. But I, I have to find, find out where I'm from. I can tell you where you're from. <laughs> Wait, well, then why am I going across the bridge? What, what's happening? These are harder than they look. Those yeah, yeah, it's they amazing they ever make oh, any God, movies, bless, really. How do you do that? Well, we're out of time. You want an apple? Oh, that's impossible. I would love an apple. All that's right, amazing. That's, Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon, we'll be right back. Welcome, Tom. Tom. Ah. Tom, tonight. Tonight, you're going to be playing yeah. for the coveted tiny hat. I, I love it. I thought I was going to wear, be wearing the tiny hat. You want to wear the tiny hat? I don't want to mush up your hair. It looks great. Do it, do it, do it. All right, then. You ready? But when you do, watch out. It turns me into something. <laughs> oh, it turns me into wee fella. Oh, oh. hi. Wait, no. No, let me get no, you. No, no, no. Take it get... off. Take it off. Welcome back. Anyway, oh. Craig. So... I have no, uh, I have no control over that. Whenever you put any kind of leprechaun hat on me, that just happens. Really? You talk in that extremely convincing Irish accent. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little bit hey, of a stereotype. Wait, wait, what's the coming and going here? Again, I mean, what's going on? Why how come you get three? I didn't ask for that one actually. Yeah. I said all the blues. <laughs> you. Uh, well, now they're scared. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> This is like the home version of the Late Late Show game. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. That's a great idea. Great we can, idea. We we'll can make, make money. Uh, Our Latvian fans would eat the <laughs> out. In, in Latvia, that's a good Saturday night. <laughs> don't say it, man. Arrange no. the mag. No, I don't want to arrange. Arrange. I don't want to arrange things. Uh, I, I was going to say a word, and then I said arrange. You ever do that? What's that? Say the wrong word? Yeah. All the time. All the time. <laughs> Throw the, throw the hat back on. When in doubt, just go right back. No, no. back on. Listen, tell me about the show, the thing where you're playing the guy. Uh, that's a, this is a hilarious show. Have you seen the show? I, the show no, no. I saw a little bit of it there earlier on. But other than that, that's it. I, it's funnier than you. It's a lot funnier than you think. You know, most of my like work. Like Carrot Top. Exactly. Yeah, you see Carrot Top, you're like, this is actually really good. I am, is this a brag? Friends with Carrot Top? I, me too. Yeah, I am also. Brag? Are we brag? No, no, I, don't, I think we're just being show business just, guys. Like we talk about show you're, business friends. You're being a late night douche. Right, I'm right. being a late night douche. She's like, hey, do you ever hey. play golf with that guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the other day, me and Carrot Top, or as I call him, Scott, were hanging. Scott, yeah, hi. No, Scotty, Scotty we Scotty were hanging in the sauna, and he did the Wendy's bit for me. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Because that's how we rolled. Uh, uh, no, I do. I'm, I like Carrot Top. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Carrot yeah, Top's solid. You can't, you can't, you can't top that. <laughs> you seen how strong, you ever been, ever, you ever been picked up by Carrot Top? You ever like been bear hugged? Oh, you or? mean sexually? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, yes <laughs> I have, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, I have. Oh, that's a good show. Yeah. So anyway, the show, the show looks funny, though. It looks funny. Funny like a super psych. funny show. You can see it yeah. on, uh, on uh, Yahoo every Thursday and Friday. Yahoo? I thought it was E. And then it's on E on, on uh, Mondays. Well, you kinda, you're kind of dismissing E that like, that's not as important as Yahoo. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not well, I think the people just, at E are going to be like, what, we sec we're, we're second best to Yahoo all of a sudden? That's not in any way what I was <coughs> You were like, yeah, it's on E on Monday, but it's on Yahoo Thursday and Friday. Oh, gosh, give me, this is, this is why you have this reputation for being such a douche. <laughs> oh. I know. I can't help it. I can't, I can't help it. And this is why you have the reputation. This is Mr. Cups. If you, you know, ask, if you backstage, when you come to the program, they say, which ones do you want? And I said, all the blues. Do you know, I tell you yeah. a story about somebody on a, a late night show. I can't tell you who it was, but it was Madonna on Conan. <laughs> um, <laughs> And one of Conan's uh, uh, guys, yeah, yeah. segment producer Handler, guys, sure. I can't tell you who it was, Dan Ferguson, told me that 
told me that when Madonna was on, she asked for a bunch mm. of scented candles, and then when yeah. she left her dressing room, she took all the scented candles, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. That's gossip, but in no way legally true. I take the... <laughs> I take a. I take the toothbrush that you get when you come here every time. You I got get a stack toothbrush? of them at home. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You get one. I got Toothbrushes they make. <laughs> it might be made for just cats and dogs, but they give it to you. <laughs> they give it. Well, to you. Oh, this toothbrush is terrible. It's got, it's got a real long handle and it tastes like meat. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I bought, I have a machine at home that Madonna uses to tone her butt. When she comes around to your house and tones her butt? She, she's like, excuse me, mate, it's me, Madonna. I've come in to tone me back. The accent was almost too subtle. Yeah, all right. She's, she's thicker than that. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, no, but there's a machine you stand on and it vibrates. And apparently, I don't know, who's been checking out Madonna's butt lately? Not many people, I don't think. Do we, do we, have, a, do we have a clip? Why would we have a clip of that? That's insane. No, but I like it. It's the late yeah. night thing. Do, do we have, have a clip, clip of that? people checking up on, on the board? Stuff? Well, what have we got a clip of? Play a clip of something. Hey. Hey, uh. If in doubt, Paul McCartney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm very impressed because I've met the people in the booth and I'm glad they haven't been just Googling Madonna's butt back there and they don't have it readily available. No, they apparently hey. don't. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Oops. Oh, wait. Oh. 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 What? How is that even something you have? That's from my personal collection. <laughs> we have to take a break, Tom. We'll be right back with Tom Lennon. Tom Lennon, where you going? I'm here with Tom Lennon and I. Tom, we're out of time. Oh, you get, that's not how this works, you douche! <laughs> you. No, we are out of time. Look, the clock over there, 43 seconds. Is 42, how, 41. Are these seconds 40. always timed? Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. It's impossible to tell from the way you talk. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, no, I'm no so... 34, this is terrible. We yeah, gotta we're get just some, watching let's the Let's get clock. some stuff in. Burning Love is yeah. on, watch that, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, this is terrible. 20, now it's like sports. 27. Pass, pass me, pass, I'm open. <laughs> Look, we, we, have, we, got, we got 22 seconds left. We Let's do something amazingly dramatic right at the frisbee. buzzer. No, no. Do you, at can the you, buzzer can, beater. Can you throw a frisbee? Yes. Throw frisbee sauce. <laughs> Music, please. Tonight, co-directed and co-wrote the film Hell Baby, uh, which will be shown at the Bonnaroo Music Festival. That's a, that's that's what the kids love. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> the music festival on the June the fourteenth. Uh, he's a good friend of the show, a genius. He's got a new moustache. Don't mention it. I don't think that he. I think he's a little sensitive about it. Oh yeah, yeah. So when he comes out, don't all go. Oh wow, moustache. Uh. <laughs> don't don't go. Oh moustache when he comes out. But please welcome Tom Lennon. Shut up. So, <laughs> hey Tom, anything going on moustache wise no, with you? No, I'm good, man. I'm cool. No, it's all right. Come on, let me see exactly it. Let me see same. it. It's good. It's good. It looks good. It looks good. Yeah. Craig, the tie looks great. Don't worry about it's it. It's too weird. long, man. It's Look, not, it's man. too long. It's, 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 it's right there. I mean, it's. <laughs> 
It's too long. I made a, an error of judgment. Of course, I could have fixed it. Really it really draws the eye, though. Does it? Yeah. It's almost up here, Mister. <laughs> It's a up here, anywhere else? No, come on, stop looking at that. Well, now I'm, you drew me there. Well, look over here, then. Yeah. Look, I, well, I'll do that. Uh, um, the thing about the mustache, Craig, yeah, that's pretty weird, is it's not weird when you realize you're like, oh, I'm growing a mustache, I'm growing a mustache, but then you start to to, to really love it. It becomes part of you, you know. It's like your person. It's like when Spider-Man finds out he's Spider-Man, you know. <laughs> That's it's a hell of a mustache you're talking it, about it, there. I, it feels that good. It's but like you see, super, but you, yeah. now if you don't mind me saying, I think you may have some product in your hair, right? <laughs> now the product in your hair is not the same as the product in your mustache. Your mustache seems to be more poofy than yeah. your hair. Your hair is is waxen, and your mustache is poofy. Uh, the mustache. I, I hate to admit that I, I did blow dry it before I came, but. <laughs> and what about the mustache? <laughs> 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 Do you, uh, you ever yeah. seen uh, one of them uh, robots? It's like a kangaroo that's a robot. You ever seen one of those? Does it vacuum the yeah, pool? Yeah, yeah. It goes around the pool and sucks up all the... Oh, no. you, it's, a, it's a robot kangaroo that you throw in your pool. Y yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And then... That's uh, great. What's the catchphrase for that? Um, when you... When you... Uh, uh, when you, when you, when everything's down under, and you... Look, when, it's already not a catchphrase. It's already too long to be a catchphrase. When a robot can when you pools needs in the night of a robot kangaroo, <laughs> and only one will do, it's kangaroomba. Is that what you're saying? I didn't understand much of that. I, I tell you though, the, the Australians are going to be mad at you now because that wasn't a good accent. And Australians get mad if you if you do, they don't mind you doing their accent, but you got to do it good. You don't do a good. Uh, Let's hear it. What? Hit me. What? Uh, Hit me. All right. Rooly grite. <laughs> That's very. Rooly grite. Right. Okay. Uh, Australia. No. Australia. That's it. Australia. Yeah. Ra. Ra. Wait. Ra. Uh, Ra. I have to. Australia. A quick question. Are you yes. doing an Australian person or an Australian animal? Animal. Okay. All right. You have that to get, made much more right, sense. You have to guess which animal I'm doing, right? From Australia, right? And then you I do got one. it. I got it. All right. Ready? Yep. Ah! I know exactly what you are. What is it? Which is you're a wallaby in a leather bar. Yes! All right. Yeah, you do one. Yeah. It's not a knife, and it's a knife. <laughs> A dingo? Yes. Yeah, oh, very good. Yeah. All right, well, that's good. Yeah. Have you ever been to Australia? I've never been to Australia. No, because it's always winter there, and I, it's... No, yeah. no, no. Well, when I would go, it always is. Well, yeah. change your plans. I can't do that. Are you very like that? You just won't change your plans? It's far away. For any... I won't. I won't. No. No. Okay. Um, have you been down there? It's so far away. Nah, I have been to Australia uh, yeah. a couple of times, yeah. Do you dress different when you're there? Yeah. Yeah. Hat with the corks hanging yeah. down? Yeah. Corks? Yeah, no, no, they're perfectly. Just like they're shorts, just, but they're just like us, shorts. except things go around the, the other way. Yeah. You know, like when you when you take the water out of the plug hole, it goes around the other way. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I've never noticed what yeah. way it goes around up here, to be honest. I don't hang around. Happen, yeah. no. no. I don't have baths, I have but showers. I've become an American. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. do you have baths? Uh, uh, you know, my my, I'm, my son takes baths and he loves Well, it. he's yeah. a he's a he's a little baby. Though. Yeah. He's, he's, he's very yeah, little. I mean. So annoying. Yeah. Yeah. What age is he, your son? He's a uh, four. Oh, well, see, oh. that's pretty good, no? No, 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 no. Yeah. No, the worst. The no, worst. come on, man. Yeah. Baby is the worst. Baby, baby is the worst. Baby's baby is awful. Is They're like, baby. ah! Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was doing my uh, animal again there. That was very really good. Wallaby in a leather bar. That's exactly. We set this up. Yeah. We go to DreamWorks. It's a movie. Wallaby in a leather bar. <laughs> Animated movie? Yeah. Wallaby in a leather bar? I yeah. like it. I like it. Yeah. Does the wallaby have a girlfriend? <laughs> He's in a leather bar. <laughs> what, what do you think? It's, it's for a niche audience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Have you been to a lot of leather bars? Mm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> it feels like no. It feels like no. Have you ever been to one of those sex Leather clubs? Leather bar, a sex yeah, club? Any of those types I of don't things? think I've been to a sex club. I've kind of occasionally meandered into the wrong situation. <laughs> uh, 
I've never actually That's been a in a club where it's advertised, you know, come right. here, wear a special outfit, sit in the uh, special equipment and <laughs> hope for the best. Yeah, that's some weird stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't, I don't, uh... I, I, I accidentally ran into a swingers convention once. What? Yeah. Well, over at the, uh, the Sportsman's Lodge, we happened to be filming. Right. And uh, a lot of people came in sort of real sexily dressed, tight, shiny stuff. Women too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I'm talking solid threes and fours. Whoa, yeah. yeah. And everybody had their name tag on with like a at symbol, and you realized it was an online swingers club, and they oh. were meeting for the first time. Oh man, here you so, know yeah. I know this is probably okay, but here let's have some of this anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, we gotta take a break for uh, for uh, personal hygiene reasons. We'll be right back with Tom. Special guest for Clitoris Awareness Week, Tom Lennon is here, everybody. Uh, well done, uh, Tom. Uh, we're on the show. Are you going to go and see Gatsby this weekend? Uh, I can't wait, especially because I always thought when I read the book, I was like, if only this was in 3D. Oof. <laughs> I gotta be, it sounds like uh, sacrilegious to say this, but I didn't care for the book either. I was like, ugh. It's a guy, it's a guy he looks at stuff and he's sad, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can, I'm doing yeah. that every day. Yes, exactly. I'm sitting around looking at sad yeah, stuff. Yeah. I, I, I recently, I almost auditioned for a DiCaprio movie. Really? Yeah. Well, you mean you almost auditioned, like, you, you thought about it, but they wouldn't let you audition? No, no, the first time... You know me, you know I don't say no to anything. Well, uh, welcome mm. to the show tonight. Uh. <laughs> no, but so uh, they, I, got a, I got a call from my agent. They said, Martin Scorsese's casting director is very aware of you. Wow. That was my... Re that's exactly what I yeah, said. wow. You just did an impression yeah. of me. I was a little tougher. Wow. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. They said they said there's a role in the new DiCaprio movie that you would be perfect for. Wow, that's yeah, even yeah, better. Yeah. And I said, great. What is it? They said it's Patrick the Butler. Look at the scene. Come in and he'd love for you to read it for Martin Scorsese. So I look at the scene, open it up. Patrick the Butler is caught in a all fully nude in a gay orgy <laughs> in in Leonardo DiCaprio's mansion penthouse. Is this part been cast yet? <laughs> <laughs> the only line Patrick the butler then says is, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he then gets beaten up and hung naked out the window of the apartment. And, and I thought, so wait, Martin Scorsese thinks I'm perfect for this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's gonna be a long day, you know, because then, you, you know, you go, your mom comes to set visit. What are you doing today? Well, you know, they're hanging me naked out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of showbiz, so. Hey, man. Oh, man. Hey. The glamour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's made me sad. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm probably doing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, all right, well, good luck with that. Uh, Thanks, Tom Lennon, everybody. Bye bye. My first guest tonight co-directed and co-wrote the film Hell Baby. <laughs> That's how you say it when you go to the movies to yeah, see it. Yeah. I'd like uh, two tickets for Hell Baby. <laughs> it's in theaters now. Take a look at this. You're gonna have to take it for a while, Tom. I need yeah. a break. I really thought the floor would be more slippery. Really? And uh, did you hurt yourself? Then? When it wasn't, it really hurt quite a bit. Yeah. You're not allowed to sue though, because that was your idea running around like that. Idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it. You look good, man. That's the kind of stuff Springsteen does. You ever see Springsteen? Yeah, I went to see. I went to see Bruce Springsteen at the Staples Center. Yeah, 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 yeah. I started like I, I love Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, and then uh, about four hours in, I'm like, <sighs> yeah. Turn the lights out when you go, Bruce. Yeah, I'm done. Me, and I go Text home. me later. Text me the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He he plays a long show. Yeah, he does. We're a real good one. Yeah, no, he's good. You like uh, you like Springsteen? Love him. You love the Smiths. You're always tweeting about how much you love the Look Smiths. Look at this. Look at this hair. You know, I saw it. Mm -hmm. Is it yours? No, 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 no. But it's uh, I'm renting to own it. <laughs> so really good, actually. It's uh, superhero hair. Three more times after I rent, I just I own it then, and I can lease it out and stuff. Yeah. <sighs> really good. Thanks, buddy. Let's never run up and down Let's like that never again. Do wow. That again. <laughs> never. No, I ever think do we're it not. Again. We're not as young as. No. Ooh. No. Oh, I'm just hoping to get saved by the German bell at some point. <laughs> ah, das ist super. Ah. You sure? Yeah, running around is so super. When we do it one time, we do it again. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Very yes, good. he tried to trick you with Yes. You, but he has never given us this a This is not German. To me, this sounds more like sort of a uh, creepy guy from Morocco, maybe, or something. Cre I am I was born in Morocco, but raised in Dusseldorf. <laughs> so, what's going on? Hell, baby, that looks like it's one for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> It's a thought-provoking film. It was about uh, exorcism yeah. and uh, babies from hell. Yeah, it's one of those movies. Did you ever see, like, Trilogy of Terror? No, I saw one of them. Did you ever see a really crappy horror film? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those where, on like... On purpose, little... though, on purpose. On purpose. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah? All right, all right. Yeah, on purpose. Did yeah. you start out making a kind of parody of a horror film and then realize... Or you started out making a real horror film and thought, we'll just call it a parody just in case. Just in case. Yeah, right. And then right. you got your bases covered. Right. It's one of those movies, you know, where, like, a, 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 a demon comes in and kind of bites people's faces off and that kind of stuff. So, and this is a comedy. <laughs> so there's funny bits and then demons there's bite people's faces bits. There's off. A lot, you know what? It will weirdly remind you a lot of the dance that you do at the beginning of emails and tweets. It's like the movie version of that. <laughs> you know when your boobs are out and you're doing... Oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That actually happens in the movie. Will you take your boobs out in the movie? My boobs are out a little bit in the movie. <laughs> Are there other people's boobs in the movie? Yes. People who are, ah, right. People no, who are feeling your boobs. Right, okay. Yeah. So, um, you have boobies in the movie. There's booby, mo boobies in well, the movie? Well, doesn't you, like, you, you write, you wrote the movie, right? Yes, sir. You and Ben write the movie? Yes. All right, so you write the movie, yep. you write, and there's boobies. Yes. Out, right. And then, but doesn't your wife see it and go, what yeah, the hell yeah, are you yeah. doing, Tom? Like, what are you doing? She's like, this seems, now, here's the thing. It would seem, if you read the script, you're like, Tom, did you just write a seven-minute nude scene for Ricky Lindholm? Because that would be so weird. And the answer is yes. Yes, you did write That's that. Exactly Exactly what I did. There's no twist to that. Do you ever write nude scenes for yourself? Oh my goodness, you've seen my work. Y yes. I think I did a nude scene on this show. <laughs> or well, we very close to it. Well, what it was was we, we said the cameras were running, they weren't running. <laughs> oh, oh, that was weird. I was also wondering why it was in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Like it was just and I was weird. the only guy there. It seemed. Yes. I was like, Craig, this is your personal vehicle. This is weird. <laughs> it's just a bit. Uh, just, just, it's just a bit for the show. Just lean over there and turn on the radio. No, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I thought, I thought at best it was some sort of test of my loyalty. It, no. Yeah. I wouldn't test your loyalty. I, I know you're loyal <laughs> to yourself. It's show business. We're all loyal uh, to ourselves. Come by on. By the way, I, I'm not to be a jerk. You know what? You know I am going to be a jerk. Okay. I asked for the pink cup. What's going on around here? Well, I guess people thought you weren't quite ready for it. <laughs> Checkmate. Uh, I have to second. say, I had them put coffee in my cup tonight. And, uh... It's, that is some frothy coffee. Yeah, it's pretty frothy. I'm frightened that? to drink. It's coffee. I'm frightened to drink it, though. Because yep. in case it all kind of like, rah, and then it looks like I'm possessed. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever uh, performed an exorcism? No. Well, in one in the movie, yeah. Yeah, but, but you've never actually uh, been in a haunted house and seen one happen, or... Yes. You... Well, yes. Well, here's the thing. When we were down, we shot the movie in New Orleans. That's haunted down there. Everything is haunted. Pretty haunted. You take a ghost tour, all they do is they say, that one, that one, that yeah, one. Yeah, they're all haunted. Yeah, that... this is, these are all yeah, haunted. Don't worry, that yeah, one's yeah. not. Don't even go there These at eight yeah, are... Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, Nicholas Cage owns these four. Right, Nicholas yeah. Cage uh, owns the haunted ones or the not haunted ones. All of the above. Right. Okay. Yeah. He owns a, a lot of property there, Jason. So, the first night, first night we were down making this movie in New Orleans. Right. I'm sitting at the computer typing some brilliant screenplay. Oh, okay. Uh, my wife was over. What one was it? Uh, 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 a movie Herbie from Fully Loaded Five. <laughs> right, okay. My my wife was over on the other side of the apartment, and my son was running. There was three rooms, and he keeps running from room to room, and he's and there's a thunderstorm in New Orleans. And he runs by me and he says, hi, Daddy. 
and he runs by her and he says, hi, mommy. And he runs to the back of the apartment where we can't see him and he says, hi, Edward. <laughs> I was like the shining. Yeah, yeah. Hi, mommy. Hi, daddy. Hi, daddy. Hi, Hi Edward. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom a little bit there, man. That's scary. Do you believe in ghosts? I certainly do. You do now. I certainly do. Really, really, for sure. Yeah, really, like absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm from Scotland, man. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Like uh, in the house in Scotland. Isn't your president a ghost in Scotland? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's a. <laughs> everybody knows a ghost, and there's got one in the family in yeah, Scotland. Which yeah. is, and you guys have Quidditch and stuff, and yeah, Quidditch, uh, and we, uh, you know, we have Patronuses. I have a Patronus. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ah. Do you know what my Patronus is? Uh, no, I'd love to see it. Leno. <laughs> 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 Leno is my patron. Oh, that was almost that. I, that almost went over my head, but I just caught yeah. it. Yeah. Right but what age is your boy? But the boy's four. So what? you're not reading Harry Potter to him, yeah? Uh, but you're yeah. gonna be. No, he's four. Would you like him? Sure. Yeah. I, I got one. I got one at uh, twelve and one at three. So four. Yeah, I could probably oh, fit him. Oh, it's a miracle. It's yeah. a miracle. And you think about leaving him at an Arby's all the time. <laughs> no, he's. I love my boy. He's a good boy. It's just, it's intense. Yeah, no, it's hard work. You gonna have more? Yeah, it's intense to find a tiny little version of you that constantly is punching you in the balls. <laughs> Whether it's on purpose or by accident, but it'll just, he'll run at you, and sometimes it's love. Right. But it feels a lot like, wow, that was just like a linebacker running at my balls. Now, have you no. ever had a linebacker running at your balls? <laughs> well, in the 90s, but... Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Things were at, different. At now. Save the Robots. Yeah, yeah. Did you go to Save the Robots? Of course. Uh, save the Robots is a club I was talking about last night on the show. That was a great. <laughs> I used to be. That was there. a great episode last yeah, night. Yeah, the last thing you, you, you catched the show last I, night? Of course I did. I said Diesel was super here. Late. How about Amazing that guy? Shirt. I mean, do we have a clip of that shirt? Uh, Amazing. Do we have a clip of Vin Diesel's shirt from last night? I don't know, do you? Um, I suppose we could find it. We'll just keep talking until they find it. <laughs> See this quiet, kind of un awkward bit? This is a bit like the let's, monologue was. Let's keep tonight. it as a. You should see, yeah. Uh... I like the monologue. Were Did you, you really talking about your minty pants? Are they, do you call them your minty pants because they look minty or they taste minty? <laughs> All of the above, girl. <laughs> Have you got a clip of Vin Diesel's shirt last night? You don't, I mean, it was on CBS, so. <laughs> if, that, if that's any help to you, it was. Uh... I, I think it was CBS. I remember it like it was like it was ju like it just happened. Like yeah. Like, I mean it was one of those things I It was like, oh yeah, there he is. Look at <laughs> Now it's my what's what's weird is I was wearing the same suit last night. <laughs> Oh, well, it looks the same. It's actually guess. a little bit different. Well, the this, tie is very different. The, the tie is, I mean, that's how you know it's, that's how you it, know it's tonight and not last night because of the tie. <laughs> but the suit is very different because, you know, this suit's mm -hmm. slightly more herringbone. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you peed in it before, which I is, peed. Yeah, just, I, I never technical. peed in it. You said, Why did you say I never peed in my suit? You said, Why did you say I peed in my suit? You, you said, always, every back. time you come out here, let's you're always accusing me of peeing. Let's show a clip of the beginning of the interview when you said that you peed in your suit a tiny bit. <laughs> If it's any help to you, it was They're on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys got nothing, have you? Yeah. We can, you can't roll that. This is happening. We're live right now. We're yeah, no, back. I mean, we can't do that. It's, it's Mobius. We'd go back. We'd meet ourselves. The whole, we change It'd be Back time. to the Future where he nearly makes out with his mom. That's uh, creepy, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you went to her. I thought it was creepy. Yeah. No, that was weird yeah, that when his really mom his finds mom. him attractive and he's like nearly kissing her and it's yeah. his mom. I was like, oh! And you were like, mm. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Tom Lennon. <laughs> Right now. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Tom Lennon, who uh, sometimes he gets right off the chair. <laughs> Look at that. And then he'll do that and do 50 dips, just like that. <laughs> and we're done. Uh, sorry if there was interference in your region. <laughs> So uh, look, look what happened. Look what happened right there. That's power. You got that's Hollywood power. Yeah, that's Hollywood power yeah. right there. I said I didn't want this cup. Yeah. Seven or eight minutes went by. Yeah. 
A guy came out, looked kind of annoyed at me. He was pretty mad at yeah. you, yeah. That's Eddie. Eric you know, Nick. he does the kung fu. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, he'll kick your ass for that when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... Do you ever do any martial arts? I did. I did. T I tried to do taekwondo for a little while. What happened? What happened was I was. It was a, all, all girls in the class and me. Um, that doesn't sound bad. Yeah. Here's the thing. Was when, there grappling? No. Well, yes. Right. With the big tough dude, who, Vin Diesel sized dude, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah. Running the class. He had a school in the South Bronx, so he would teach you like how to walk home safe and stuff. Right. So I was always, always the demonstration. Uh, see, that's, you don't yeah. want that. It ended up just being a lot of like, oh. <laughs> what is, take, is Taekwondo, uh, that's a... Uh, Taekwondo, the foot fist way. Foot, the yeah. foot fist way, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. I, th yeah, I think I saw that what movie. Did, yeah, what'd you study? <laughs> you sure? Check at the video store because it's next to something weird. Oh, the, the video store? Yeah. We still have that? Uh, the video store. Go back in time about 10 years <laughs> to the video store. Well, check, well, I guess they still have the video store. You're They're obviously like, into martial arts. Me? Yeah, yeah. I was, I, uh, kendo. Uh-huh. Japanese stick fighting. Stick fighting. Mm. Right. Is that no, I just made it up. Uh, <laughs> no, kendo is a, is no, a martial stick art. Fighting. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's Japanese stick fighting. Yeah, but I can't do it. Yeah. I wouldn't fight a stick. I wouldn't yeah. know where to begin. Right. <laughs> What do they ever do to us? Exactly. exactly. If you, a stick is to stand, that's the way of the yeah. stick. You stand very still and people think, well, it's just a stick, and then they move on. I feel like I, feel like I could take out, you know, once in a while you'll see sort of older uh, people doing like... Uh, tai Chi? Tai Chi. In the park? I feel like if they don't see me coming, I could get them. Yeah, you yeah. could probably do that. You know what but I mean? But they, they, if they see you, though, they could kick your ass really slowly. <laughs> and that's it. They'd be but like... I, yeah. Uh, please welcome the lovely Tom Lennon, everybody, Tom Lennon. Much. Thank you so much, Tom. Oh, you guys. Are you excited to the point of? Uh, or can we say that? I'm not Are sure. I seems in? to be a little dirty to be able to say it, but he seems to be quite happy you were with it. Very clearly, just making a baguette a moment ago. <laughs> careful, careful. I'm eating that delicious baguette you just made. Oh, I thought I was perhaps. <laughs> I said what it was. It was I, a delicious well, I baguette. actually, what was in my mind was I was playing an oboe. <laughs> Hoodoo do, hoodoo do, do, do. Hey, did you see Yakov Smirnov was on the show? Amazing. How about them apples? Amazing. Yeah, I know. Well, the cat and three. What the? He did, did that. He did that right amazing. here. Yeah. It was amazing. That's, yeah, that's like us standing by the Beatles and they do like, hey, all you need is love. Right? Right, exactly. <laughs> it's, it, it's like, it's better than going to Russia and being part of the Olympic Games. Mm. How about those opening, that opening ceremony, huh? Whoa. Ah! Oh! Yeah. Majestic. <laughs> oh, the spandex. So much pageantry and span. It's a lot like this show. Hey, uh, I'm sorry Sean Saves the World got cancelled. That was a good show. <laughs> I, here's, the, here's the thing. I was so good in that. Yeah, I know. I was so, I was positive, positive. I emailed my publicist once and I said, look, I know we're not getting great ratings, but I think there's a really good chance I could get an Emmy for this. <laughs> I said, I don't know. Really <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's very good. Isn't he good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he never wrote back. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's At a shame. all. A person who works for me. Yeah. Well, he still works for you and he doesn't... Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Books me on this what, show. What, are you messing around with your tummy there? What's going on? I, I thought my tie looked weird. Let me Although, see. Oh, it, it looks good. Thanks. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Wait. 
Don't, don't. I've just had this repaired. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Jeff, you know, you know, in the Olympics, there is a, uh, the, one of the events is the skeleton. It is really the skeleton. We're talking about it. You go down on the skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> How do, how do they let you do this every night? <laughs> I have no idea, man. I'm convinced it's because they really don't know I'm here. Like, they really don't. <laughs> like, they, would have they think they've cancelled me years ago, but it, somehow it was delivered to the wrong show, probably yeah, your yeah. show, yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then I'm still here. And... But that's it. Sure well, I hope they deliver my Emmy to you, too, then. Uh, listen, I'll, if I get one, I'll move it on. The Emmy people don't Did care Did you notice you were on my show, and then, and then look at this. You were on Sean Saves the World, and then right. suspiciously, six, seven, eight weeks go by, cancelled. Yeah, it's definitely, it's show, definitely, yeah, and then something five, to think about. Like two months go by, boom, overnight, cancelled. Well, we'd best not have me on again. <laughs> <laughs> what about the, the Midnight Show? Because that's a big hit with Chris Hardwick, isn't it? You yeah, guys are doing great. Yeah, and you're, you're, uh, you're, what are you uh, doing? Goof around, kids goof around and tweeting and stuff. On the Tweety? Yeah. Yeah, I follow you on the Tweety. Yeah, yeah, we, oh, that's why I follow you. That's how I mostly know about you. I got an email from you the other day. An email from me? Yes. <clears throat> really? It's so exciting. I've never gotten, yeah. I've never gotten an email from you. Well, I, I hope you exciting. took to heart what I said. <laughs> You said uh, all you, you needed my bank account numbers, and you would give me... I could get three million dollars. I just had to loan you a little money or something like that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It said, you are a prince in Scotland, but you don't have access to your cash right now. It was it, very convincing. Have you ever been to Scotland? I have been... Uh, is Edinburgh in Scotland? <laughs> it's the capital city, yes. That's like, is Washington, D.C. in the United States? Then I've been there. Yeah. I uh, I have been, and I went and looked for Nessie. He, he or she is not there. Is not there. Not in Edinburgh. It's the capital city. You have to go to Loch Ness. No, I went to Loch Ness. Oh, you went to Loch Ness? The, oh, but really, the Loch Ness monster is in Loch Ness? Yes, that's where, that's where it is. <laughs> we're hey, not, why are you doing that? No, 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 no. Idiots. You're doing that thing that people yeah. do in arguments. You look at your invisible friend, and your invisible friend back, like... Oh. <laughs> do you believe this invisible friend? He doesn't even like kale. Oh, I do love kale. He doesn't. He just says it. You know what you should do? A reality show with the other housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> you should well, do that. Well, I'm available. I think that'd be great. You, you're yeah. not available, though. You're executive producer. You're a oh, boss. Now you're a suit. In. Look at, that's like what this guy does over yeah, here. Yeah, I know. So, nothing. <laughs> That's nothing. right, take that, the man. Nothing. You, he you, sits there, you eat baguettes, right. he just scowls. But wait, you're the man now, Tom. How so? Well, oh, I'm the man, I'm the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, the exactly. Borg, man. <laughs> you're it. You're, you're the like, Borg. Yeah, resistance is futile yeah. with you, man, well, you. One of us, I gotta get a catch. You dressed me up kind of like a Borg last time I was on the show. Yeah, show that's there. right. Yeah. Well, no, you dressed yourself up like that. <laughs> I said you want to be in a sketch, and you were like, oh, yeah, let's, like, I, where I, do I get spandex? I get, I get an email from you, other than the email about how you're a prince, and I can right, help right, right. you out, get back to your money. Uh, I get an email that's like, hey, do you want to come be in a, a sketch on The Late Late Show? I'm so excited. Knock I it did off. Not Knock it off. You weren't that excited. Because I didn't read the script. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Didn't read the script, and I show up, and all of a sudden, people start coming in my room with a spandex, with like a, a, a leather S&M yep. yeah. bondage outfit yeah, and yeah. a ball gag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they bring that to my room, too, but I never do it. <laughs> <clears throat> this is what happens when you don't read the script. No, this is what happens when you don't read the script. <laughs> this, what happens is you do... <laughs> What happens is, I did a movie called Lenny the Wonder Dog, and then this is what happens then. Are you in Lenny the Wonder Dog? Lenny the Wonder Dog, yeah. Is that yeah. the worst movie you're ever in? Uh, the, uh, well, I don't like to say it was a bad movie, because some people worked really hard on it. Not sure. me, you know, but... Um, but yeah, it, it's a pretty... It, I was in... Uh, I it's was a in, small group of people yeah. that enjoy that movie. I was in Boat Trip. Boat Trip? Yeah, did you ever see that one? Yeah, that's, that's quite a movie. <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta see Lenny the Wonder Dog, though. I, see, the reason I took it, I was going who, through a divorce at play? the time. Well, I, I play the evil guy. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I can the, see it. I can, oh, no. I, I, was, I can see it. I was getting divorced I can see it. All right. So in the divorce, like, I'm getting divorced. My life is hell. Everything's going wrong. And I get this script, and they say, it's shooting in Florida in the middle of the summer. Mm -hmm. The movie, the mm -hmm. script is, you know, this is the opinion of my agent. The script is crap, and the money is terrible. But you're out of town for six weeks. I said, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
You just explained my entire movie career. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What to expect when you're expecting? Are you in that movie? Apparently. <laughs> I'm in everything. I'm literally. You're in a lot of movies. I'm in yeah. so many movies. Yeah. It's like I'm under surveillance. Do you ever go and see? Do you ever go and see them? I. You know. I. You know. I, I've never seen Boat Trip, for example. I, I have. I don't have time to see every Achtung. movie I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? I once I was in a, a Lemony Snicket movie. Ooh. Yeah. It's a, it, I actually I think it's a good movie. Ooh. I've never seen it. But I was in it, and then they cut me out of it. And I was mm. like, oh, I get dressed up every day for months. But the. Uh, <laughs> Were you the person of indeterminate gender? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. I had no, a sound effect later in post to make it seem like <laughs> everybody was excited. There's no, I knew, there's no post on the live that? show. No you know why I know that? that? Why? I auditioned for that role. <clears throat> oh, well, I wish you got it. But the, uh, <laughs> here's, here's the thing. Walter Parks, who's like big movie sure. producer, giant movie producer, sure. right? Love and Kale! Yeah, Love he's like Kale. a... He, he, I mean, he loved Kale. He owns oh, Kale. He owned invented Kale. Kale. He invented Kale. Yeah, right. He literally invented Kale. He invented Kale. Kale. He's so, he's like he a huge... He owns the rights oh, to Kale. Yeah. So I'm at the craft services dressed as the half man, half woman character one day, and I, I'm not enjoying the experience dressed of making this. unlike yourself. Right, okay. right, right, right. And I know, I don't like the experience of making the movie, and he came over and he said, how do you enjoy the experience of making <laughs> big time movies, Craig? And I said, I don't care for it at all. I don't want to do it again. And he said, that can be arranged. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. yeah. Voila. The Wonder Dog. Voila. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just reliving that whole, thing. that whole opening ceremony. It was so amazing. I know, no. Stop going on about it, though, man. It's, I, don't, I don't want to give NBC any more, more viewers. <laughs> Any more than I was giving them? <laughs> oh, yeah. that's right. I was With knocking NBC. that out of the park, yeah. yeah, yeah. The thing about NBC, usually you only get cancelled if you win your time slot. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, we're out of time. Do you want to throw a commercial break? Yeah. He stay tuned for more of the guy that loves Kale, your Hollywood douchebag! <laughs> Please welcome Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. You take it for a bit, Tom. I've got to have a rest. This is an awkward night for me. Why? Because we used to be called three cellos. <laughs> and they said, it's not working out. Oh, because the band Two Cellos are yeah. on tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, how are you? It's good to see you, bud. Yeah, good to see you, too, man. How you doing? Looking you okay, good. man? Looks good. I'm all right. Get it together? Really, a little drink really of water? Good. Yeah, I actually spilled it all over the place. Yeah, it's all right. There you go. Yeah, looking good, man. Ah. I like your jerk and tie shirt combo. Thanks. We call it a gherkin. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's really it's good. Like you, look, a, you look like a cop. It's like a merkin for your... It's a, funny you say that. A little bit copy. Because it's the first time I've been on the show without a mustache in years, and you say, yet I look like a cop. I knew there was something different about you. I thought you'd grown your face longer or something. I, I also did that. I'm also, I go to the guy that does the Kardashians. You're right, yeah. He, uh, well, it's not a huge thing. He just takes a skateboard and he sits on your face and uh, eventually it, it just... Teases it up. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Who, who are we how daring? I mean, I'm with you, man. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't know what's going on. It's my go-to when Do they don't get, like uh, what I'm saying. Do you get plastic surgery, Tom? I haven't yet, but I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure I could. I could do. I would do like a ass cheeks. That's what you start with. <laughs> uh, they do those. Yeah, oh, they do everything. You've, you've, had, everything. you've had a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I, I've got. I've had my ass cheeks moved, moved. not lowered. Yeah, just moved slightly to the side. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I can now go to the bathroom around the corner. Uh, yeah, I would do that. I, I would love to get some sort of ab thing. They must have an ab thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, what they do is they, uh, they take, uh, yeah. the, if, you, if you have any, you don't look like you have, but if yeah. you have any uh, abdominal fat, mm -hmm. uh, you know, ab like the abdominal snowman. Yeah. 
Well, they, they take it out, and what's left is pure, uh, you know, Sizzling abs. washboard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't care for abs, though, myself. Really? Yeah, no, I think I, I, I finally tuned to Ab Stomach says, I'm trying too hard. Right. Yeah. That's a great, that, not, that does not sound like sour grapes at all. No, it is. It's yeah, sour yeah, yeah. grapes, yeah. yeah. So, um, hey, have you been watching Foil's War? I, no, I don't know what this is. is Foil's about, War is it's a BBS. Foil, it's, a right? British, it's a British detective show set right. during the Second World War. And Foyle, he wears a hat like this, yeah. and he's really good. And he says, he says things like this. You've been a very naughty man, and you're going to go to jail. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's like a... It's like... I, I, when, as soon as you said Foil's War, I thought it was like you get a bunch of nerds, and they're making stuff out of aluminum foil, and then the... <laughs> That's also a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Or just a couple of bros and you wrap yourself in foil and it's war down in like a pit. <laughs> That's a different way of going. Uh, anyway, I just want to verify you're in this movie. So what's the name of your character in this movie? You know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that I specialize in playing characters who don't necessarily have names. You know, they're usually like in six or eight films, I'm a character called Doctor. Uh, I'm frequently like persnickety man number one uh, or persnickety man number three. In this movie, I play a role called Chief of Staff, who in my mind is named Greg. Greg or Craig? Greg. You disappoint me. <laughs> Are you still being foil, this famous foil? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go back oh to Oh, my God, foil, yeah. he's so sexy and intriguing. I can see why you're obsessed yeah, with... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What other, say one more amazing foil line. <laughs> you Germans have behaved very badly in this war, and uh, you're going to lose. This is literally... How long is each episode? Like six or eight hours, or what? Uh, an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. They're um, really good. Amazing. But you like some nerdy stuff. You're like... You're I, like, like, I like the Doctor Who. You, you like the Doctor artist Who? There. Yeah, Doctor Who, and I like... I can't uh, keep track. There's so many Doctors. Well, there's only one at a time. It's been six, right, or seven? Or I seven? think they're on 12. Okay, yeah. 12? Yeah, but it's been 50 years the right. show has been on. It's been running longer than The Price is Right. You're right. You could be the next one. No, I couldn't. Why not? Illegal. Why is it illegal? You're because you're Scottish. Because of... Uh, no, the, the current one is Scottish. And there was... David Tennant was another one. He was Scottish. Oh. Huh. Hmm. So they went that way. They've already done that. Huh. Yeah, so you, you can't have three Scottish people do it. <laughs> no, not? I think Sylvester McCoy was also Scottish. Oh my God, I'm so bored of who was Doctor Who. Oh right yeah. There. Oh my God, we get it. You know all the Doctor Who's. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm sorry. Tell I'm me more about I'm sorry I'm boring you, but you don't call him the Doctor Who. You just call him the Doctor. Oh my God. <laughs> What, what would it be like if Foyle met the doctor? Don't cross the streams, man. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> we'll be right back. Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. Hey, was, we're back on, by the way. Hey! Hey! Ha ha ha! Well, Foil. Oh, okay. Hang on. Look here, Foil. Yeah, well, you... I know what you're going to say. That I... I have been. You've been very naughty. And what country are you from? I wasn't sure when I started. <laughs> it sounds to me. Let's say Antwerp. Well, first of all, Antwerp's not a country. It's 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 a town in Belgium. Right. He's caught me in my web of lies. <laughs> oh, foil. Yes? Come over by the fire. I'd like to explain something to you. Ooh, a, a limp as well? <laughs> my character has a limp for some reason. Yeah. I'd like to explain something to you, Chief of Staff. That is your name, isn't it? It's not. What is it? Greg. <laughs> All right. Well, Craig, sometimes when a gentleman meets another gentleman, things happen. Yes? Yeah. Oh, fine. How did, when did you unravel all of this? I haven't unraveled anything yet. I have a feeling, though. Yes, you do have a feeling. <laughs> In 
If I stand here, I look very much bigger than you. Fire! You're huge! How do you do this? <laughs> Muscle control. Using my muscles, I can enlarge my size. I'm like one enormous penis. Wait, say that last part one more time. I'm afraid for legal reasons, I can't. <laughs> What's wrong? You seem to have something puffy in your cheeks. No, this is, I'm in terror. Because I, I feel like a, 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 a criminal mastermind, like Foil, must know what I'm up to. Can I ask what country you're from? Antwerp. Antwerp. What do you think? What the hell is going on? I have no idea. <laughs> well, if there are any celebrities watching this show, this is how you plug a movie. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. show where we've had the choir and the singing hippo thing so <laughs> I didn't really know what that was about <laughs> that was your idea wasn't it <laughs> well keep your stick in the ice everybody <laughs> He's a hugely talented man. He's in The Odd Couple coming to CBS in February. He's a great friend of the show. He's an astronaut. He has his own fragrance. It is called... What? <laughs> it's your favourite fragrance. What? Please welcome the great Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. There you go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And... Oh! That was that good, was, Tom. Th thank you very much. That was the whitest gospel choir I've ever seen. Yeah. In my life. I have... I have I, was that gospel? It was more kind of like oodly oodly, wasn't it? Uh, I dozed off backstage. I woke up. You're dancing with a hippo. Yeah. And Betty White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well... Some things never change. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You want to do that? You're going to guest host this before James starts, aren't you? Yeah. yeah you, well, you, you should have a, a choir and a hippo. People love yeah. that. Crikey. <laughs> Tested through the roof. Oh, man. They're like, yeah, turn the dial up. More hippo. Yeah. More, more hippo. Betty White, more hippo. Bring it. Yeah, hippo, Betty White. That's uh, what we want. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, it's a hit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what's, I'm gonna, the, you know how sometimes you agree to host something and you don't mean to do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like like ten years ago I did that. <laughs> you know, you're like, you're texting somebody, you're looking at Twitter and somebody says, hey, you want to do the Late Late Show? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what happened to me with so the, the choir and the hippo. Yeah. I was like, yeah, fine, good. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's where you... Sleep at the wheel. How, how many are you going to do? Three. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Right? Anyone can do three. Right? Yeah, you'll be fine. You know who your guests are yet? No. Ah, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> They're great. Are you, do you know Probably what you're going to do? Me, I mean, a lot of times, I've been on the show a lot of times. Yeah, but like, what people uh, like don't 50, know, six. Something like that. What people don't know is that most of the time it's because somebody else fell through. <laughs> well, it's the reason why I got the show, let's be honest. <laughs> I just live close by. Yeah, you do. Yeah. That's very I handy. live at the Grove. People don't know that. <laughs> In Santa's house. <laughs> That's not true. I have, a, I have a condo in the American Girl Cafe. Not endearing yourself to the American public right now, Tom. Uh, so are you excited about hosting? Not really, no. Oh, no. Why not? It'll be great. You can, yeah, it'll be fun, right? Yeah, do a Scottish accent. Yeah. 
Alright, alright. It's been a great time. Oh, it's been a great time. <laughs> oh, good. You got it. You got it. It's been a great time for the rebellion. <laughs> We're not all pirates, you know. <laughs> Some of us are. Mm, I love your Peaky Blinders haircut. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, you like the hair? Yeah, yeah. I'm going for a kid and play sort of thing. <laughs> You're a vegetarian with the Morrissey haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going completely Morrissey. You're a Morrissey fan, aren't you? Ugh, I'm going yeah, totally fan. Morrissey. That's fantastic. Yeah, are you? So great. I, you know, I'm, I'm waning it out, but I'm, I have not, I'm not a complete vegetarian. But I'm so you're not. Phasing yeah. it. No. <laughs> well, you, you know, you're just either you are or you're not. Yeah, so I'm not. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. But you're thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So are you uh, a bisexual? Everybody, I'm... Uh, <laughs> that haircut, you and me... Kind of thinking about it, right? <laughs> we go to newly opened Cuba. Mm, us in our trunks <laughs> Going to Cuba <laughs> I like that song. Can he sing that song? Us in not. our trunks Going to Cuba High-fiving on the beach yeah, Playing yeah, volleyball, playing volleyball, with volleyball communists. All with each other Because <laughs> SPF is important SPF is important Oh, wow, it got... <laughs> It got Turned really, into a PSA. It got really yeah. erotic there for a second. No, no, no. I was, I was protecting you. From, don't you wear uh, sunscreen? You I'm a that. big sunscreen. Look how pale I'm whiter than that gospel choir. <laughs> nope. Nothing's whiter than that gospel <laughs> choir. Uh, ah, good times. Great, man. great times. Good times. Oh, the odd couple. Are it's, you playing uh, Felix? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably. Sure. You know, it's interesting. When I got, I got cast as Felix... Uh, Everyone in my whole life uh, came out of the woodwork and said, oh, perfect, ugh. Yeah, when I heard you were doing it, I was like, yep, ugh, that's the ugh. one, yeah. That one. That's the one he's been waiting for. Yeah. That's the actor in the park come together in a kind of... <laughs> I didn't know that I'd been sort of quietly annoying everyone in my entire life. Ah, but we still... For forever. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. But we love you. That's the thing about Felix. He's annoying, but you can't help but love him. And exactly. that's you, Tom. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, you don't agree? What? Keep your stick in the fridge. <laughs> Keep good that to see you, stick man. in the fridge. Looking good, man. Looking good. You too, Jeff. Looking good. I'm not going to be there for your guest show, so uh, <laughs> good luck. You know, you need, <laughs> you're going to need to uh, get fancy socks. You can't be coming in. No, this. I know. Look oh, at yeah, this. You've got you to have oh. socks like this. Oh, fancy yeah. talk shows. But you, you bought those yourself. The show can't pay for those. No, they didn't pay for them. I, the I, have that kind I of made money. them. I made oh, them. Oh, you knitted them. I have to pass time in my cell between mm. shows. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit in there and then they wheel me out. Yeah, no, do no, the comedy. Do it. Do it now. And I'm like, do oh, it. Cheeky monkeys. Oh, do it. Monkeys. Monkeys. Yeah. Get the hose. Uh, yeah. Don't make me get the hose. Oh, that's, that's what they say. <laughs> yeah. It does the talk show where it gets that the hose again. Hose. Yeah. <laughs> They're great socks. Yeah, they are good socks. Yeah. They are They're good socks. I think you'd be great at this. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you'd be fine. <laughs> it's only three, right? Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. people are still going to be talking about the choir thing. <laughs> <laughs> going to be fine. Well, we're, we're out of time, Tom. Uh, what can I say? Nothing. I we're out of time. No, yeah. oh, wait. I do want to say something. What? I love you. I don't care who knows it. I love you too, Tom. Thanks, I think buddy. you're going to be great at this. Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. Your name, are you named after the famous uh, Tom Lennon from Reno 911? <laughs> Thomas Lennon, actually. Yes. He prefers Thomas. I call um, him Tom but only well, because it you're, irritates him. You're very good friends. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, my dad.